And good grief, but greetings everybody, I am Resplendent Seraph, and here to play some more Fallout. Had my, uh, <laughs> as usual, I hit the stream button and my feline co-host decided she needed some food, a snack, a pet. I'm like, how do you know I click the start streaming button? Um, but at this point, she's now a happy camper. She really just wanted a snack. Uh, but greetings everybody. Sorry about that. Hopefully it wasn't on. <laughs> Hopefully that was truly about five minutes after. Uh, no, I was only, I was about a minute after, uh, but not too bad. Not too bad. So greetings. Sorry about that slight delay. But without any further ado, let's get this whole thing started. Hey, Dark Star, you should hear the pre-stream music. I, right? Like you would, but so the, here's, the fun, here's the funny part. I, I use headphones for my Fallout streams, so I, I don't know how she knows. Uh, <laughs> like, is there some sort of, like, pre-stream ritual I do that she, like, cues up on? Because it's uncanny how often... Yeah, cat hearing... You know, you know what? You're right. I didn't even think about that. Cat hearing, yes. Cats do have a crazy, crazy sense of hearing. Oh, my goodness. And sight, except for, like, what's right in front of them, which is why sometimes they'll have a hard time getting the treat that's right in front of them. Um, the very short term um, uh, sight is not necessarily all that great. And they have a blind spot that's super close to their face. So if you know you ever have to deal with some sort of weird mutated T-Rex sized cat, be really, really close to it. It won't see you. <laughs> you, you may you may not get much mi mileage may vary over Seraph's pro tips here. <laughs> But anyway, uh, <laughs> goofiness aside, my poor cat, I think she might have some, I think she might even have allergies because I've been sneezing like crazy and she's also been sneezing like crazy for the last like day or two. So I'm, I'm keeping an eye on her until it smacks you across. Yeah. <laughs> and especially my cat. Granted, uh, the next time she comes up here, I'll have to show you guys. 
But um, so she's a 20 pound cat. She is not a small, small cat. She is a big cat. Now, granted, she's also a little overweight, but she's not that overweight. If you actually look at her paws, she has gigantic bear claws. I've seen her pick up her toys with one, with just like one paw and like toss it. It's the most hilarious thing. I've never had another cat that had claws or paws so big that she could literally grab her toys with one hand. Uh, it's, 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 it's just wild. <laughs> hey, Operator Mudhorn. Greetings, my friend. Good to see you. Good to see everybody on this uh, lovely Saturday uh, afternoon. So yeah, we're going to play some Fallout. And I was thinking about this, trying to figure out uh, what exactly is going to be the plan for the stream. And other than maxing out McCready, I don't really necessarily have any kind of long-term plan. So what I think we'll do is we'll try and get McCready maxed out. We'll, we'll gallivant around to the Northeast a little bit. Get our, get our settlements as much in order as we can. And once we get McCready's quest, we'll do that. We'll keep an eye open for some um, overdue books just because we would like to get the Massachusetts journal that we still need to get out of the library. Uh, and then we might just go into the Boston ruins to rescue Nick uh, just to get the main plot kind of kicked off. Hey, deep fry greetings. How are you? Always good to see you. And we'll just kind of play it by ear. Um, I know we have a quest to go rescue and go to the aid of the Abernathy farm. So we might do that first. Let's get this uh, first things first. Let's go into game. There we are. How's everybody's weekend doing? Oh, man. it That thing broke again, didn't it? Son of a bitch. Oh, uh, do I fix it? Do I fix that now? No. We'll just go... We'll, we'll go, well, you know what? It, 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 it's, it's a, it, it's a pride thing. We're, we're totally celebrating pride. Yep. It's totally not a technical fuck up. We are, we're going month. That is, that is right. That's June, right? Where, was that, is that June or is that May? You know what? That actually might be June. I wonder if that actually is, is a pride thing. I wonder if, uh, the, uh, API I use for that is doing a, a pride thing. That actually might be what that is. You know what? I'm just going to totally lean into that and say that's a totally intentional. I'm recording a short video of Bad Batch of season one. Nice. <laughs> Perils of live broadcasting. Ah, ah. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's a little, it's a little bright. Um, I much prefer my normal, more subdued, uh, orange and purple. Although I did finally my, uh, my integrated, uh, latest follower and goals, uh, now is connected properly. So that finally unfucked itself for me becoming an affiliate. So that part's nice, but yeah, I, I lost the, the border. You know what? Let's just, let's just undo the animated border for now. Uh, yeah, that's, that's, yeah, that's a little, that's a little distracting. <laughs> Reminds me, I need to switch my icon. Uh, <laughs> you know, the perils of live broadcast, I didn't even notice and I'd fired it up earlier, but I, I just, I didn't, I didn't really notice that, uh, don't want the RGB pride border only because it's a little distracting. Um, at least it looks a little, I mean, uh, up to you guys is, is if that's not too distracting, I may as well keep an animated border of some sort, but, uh, but yeah, I usually don't go for the whole RGB laser vomit, um, stuff usually, but, um, but an aesthetic choice, right? But no, I mean, you know what? That might be fine. We'll just lean into it. Fuck it. <laughs> uh, all right. Let's get this party started. Fallout. Boom. Assuming I didn't break anything. I did install a couple of mods this morning. Good. That looks, that looks fine. Perfect. And it's still good. And then the volume is still auto adjusting down. Perfect. That's a beautiful thing. Okay. Yes, let's confirm that game and get this party started. So yeah, uh, we're going to start heading west. That does seem a little loud for me. Let's, uh... Maybe let's tone that down a little bit. Okay. Alright, here we go. So here's Lucas. We don't need ballistic fiber at the moment but you know what maybe we'll just buy it now the just... only way you get old in this job is assume everyone's out to kill you <laughs> yeah that's Business good advice lucas got the best armor in these parts well let's put let's that to the test don't cheap out on armor that's a good way to get yourself killed well that's right we also have to take a look at um the armor we just picked up from um 
from um, uh, the Brotherhood pilot that we uh, that we didn't necessarily get to in time. Man, that is expensive stuff. But we're going to really like having that in a second. So let's find pre-war money. Let's see how much pre-war money we've got. All right. That's going to handle at least a decent amount of that. Let's see. What else could we do? Uh, yeah, let's sell the missiles because I rarely use missiles. We could sell that fusion core. I've got 55 more of them, but that's, that fusion core is still pretty decent. Maybe some of these plasma cartridges? Yeah, I don't really want to sell the plasma those. Ooh, there we go. Yep, let's just sell a bunch of these. There we go. Marvelous. Excellent. Okay, so now we've got... Alright, so let's take a look. Okay, we haven't actually connected Green Top Nursery to our... Okay, you know what? We'll go to Ten Pines Bluff, and then we'll connect Green Top Nursery from there. That sounds like a fantastic plan. Okay. Better chance of surviving. All right, to the north we go. Well, to the northeast. Let's uh, let's take a look in our quests. So we've got to clear the way for County Crossing. We got to go to Taffington Bathouse, so, uh, defend that. We got to defend Abernathy Farm. We've got uh, these to take care of. Let's see, is there anything else that we really need to deal with? Don't think so. Oh, right, we still need to return to Daisy with public knowledge. All right, so the next time we're over in the Gridneber area, we'll deal with that. But for right now, let's do Abernathy Farm, and we'll... We'll do a little exploring on our way over there. Good, we built some turrets. Greentop Nursery is basically taken care of. Oh, we got some fighting. Probably Minutemen. Because ever since we've started recruiting like mad, we've got Minutemen all over the place. Holy shit, fucking Rad Scorpion. There it is. Yeah, let's go for the Stinger. Shit. No. No. Face. Thank you. Headshot. Yeah, Vats is definitely required for this. Hell, even with Vats, we still missed a bunch. All right, we'll take that. I don't know what that's really now. Now that's well, yeah. That might not be so bad if we get to less health. We'll get some uh, time dilation. That might not be so bad. That'll help when we get our asses kicked. That was a pretty crazy fight. And we'll take moat fruit. Whew. We're fine there. Let's go this way and see what that antenna might be. So like many... Um, this is a good time for me to just remind everybody while we play this and get kind of started up with everything. Uh, we're going to be heading over to Abernathy Farm, but for the most part, this part of the map ends up being kind of the lowest area. And then the more right, well, the more east and the more south you get, the more crazy it gets. So this area is the highest level of the game. And, um, <laughs> you know, and obviously this end up being a little easier. But we're in a somewhat tricky spot over here in that um, and we'll, we'll get some high level spawns over in this general region. Now we did get a mention of the mass containment shed, but it ends up being a little glitched if you go to it too early. So we're not going to check it out, even though we have a map icon for it. I do want to go and at least check out that. There we go. 
The Commonwealth does look a lot better with some of these uh, graphics mods. <laughs> it does make a big difference. Oh, right, we've got that. Although, oh, fuck. What do we got? Ugh. These little assholes. Fucking mutant mosquitoes. No. Yes. Deal with that. Good, McCready got the other one. Thank you. Damn it. I heard it. I just couldn't see it. <laughs> I just couldn't see it. Couldn't see the bastard. Oh, well. Let's extend the satellites. And up they go, and then we'll get a distress signal. Actually, I think I'm pretty sure I remember where this one is. That's a pretty cool location. I like doing that with either Codsworth or um, another robot companion we'll be getting in a little while. Let's see. Let's go, let's go to the river here. We'll go discover Lake uh, Quinnupit, I think this is. Yep. Pick up the blood leaf. Blood leaf is useful for a couple of things. Yeah, we'll go this direction. We'll just stick to the north here. Hopefully, McCready asks us for to do his quest and then we can get on with things that's an interesting little tunnel let's not mess around with that at the moment i don't think there's anything particularly interesting there oh my god you can't take two fucking steps without these assholes showing up ah. this one hey we're getting xp we'll probably get another level before we actually get there Man, I don't remember this many uh, insects just along the shores of it. Fuck, man. We'll take the blood leaf. Yeah, we will take more blood leaf. Yeah, let's go over here. Yeah, fine. Since we came this way anyway. What's okay? Perfect. We'll get some glowing fungus. Useful for chems. We're gonna need to pick up uh, chemist at some point. Oh, no, 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 no. Fuck. That was actually a really nice shot. <laughs> oh, I will definitely take that mini nuke. I love the super mutants orders. Useful, McCready. Uh, yeah, we'll pick up that wrench. All right, moving on. Fucking super mutants. So I've also added a new mod called uh, Ambient Wasteland, which I had forgotten to pick up the first time. And it definitely makes some of the sounds much more uh, immersive. Yeah, let's just pick up all this junk. Fishing tournament ID, look at that. Sponsored by General Atomics. These poor bastards. They had no idea how fucking contaminated this water was. <laughs> uh, I'll take the hub flower. Okay, got one more. Hey, buddy. Come here, crab. Red lobster's out of business, and now so are you. Actually, a friend of mine uh, just went there. Apparently, it was really quiet. I'm not surprised that it would be really quiet, but it uh, he was like, "Yeah, this place is awesome." I think I went too far. Nope, I didn't go far enough. 
There we go. I thought about getting a mod that would, um, every time you fuck up and your bobby pin breaks, that it would have your character uh, curse. But I'm like, nah, I do that enough. <laughs> I don't need, I don't need the game doing that for me. Uh, legal notice. Let's take a look at this. Litigation, blah, blah, blah. Wipe the terminal. <laughs> we already have that. So let's take a look at this terminal really fast. Water quality status. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Radioactive contaminants, heavy metal contaminants, all extreme. Beacon contaminants. Jesus Christ. I, I, the, anything that comes out of this is a total health hazard. It's probably more healthy now. Made them your cheddar bay bitch. <laughs> That's right. Hell yeah. <laughs> uh, repeated water quality system per quality request. Contaminant levels have continued to increase. Yeah. Yeah. Fishing tournament resulted in 27 reports of serious illness. Oh my god. And then they, of course they closed it. So yeah, leave it to a nuclear apocalypse for the lake to actually be healthier than it was. Thought I heard something. Yeah. All right, so moving on over here. That is a Meyer Lurk fighting some blood bugs. Come on, there we go. I'm gonna deal with these assholes. Oh! Wow, I managed to shoot them. I managed to shoot a fucking bug with my. Come on. Ugh, never mind. It's gone. Where is it? There we are. Perfect. Reminds me of when I was a kid. I watched my brother with a BB gun shoot a bumblebee. And I was just like, did that just, did that just fucking happen? <laughs> yeah. He just, he managed to hit it and it just blew it apart. Right in half. Couldn't believe he had that kind of crazy aim. Absolutely fucking wild. Could I still like I still can't believe that to this day. Like, what a crazy shot. Now granted, he was not that far away from it. It's not like he was uh, you know, a football field away and took out a bumblebee. He was like fifteen feet, something like that, I feel like. But still, like, the point remains. <laughs> I feel like the point's very valid. Like to shoot a bumblebee with a BB gun at fifteen paces is is kind of bananas. Yeah, he had crazy aim. All right, so let's check out this. Let's check out this plane. This crashed plane. We'll get some good stuff out of this. So there's a random quest that can lead here. Oh, look at that. Looks like something's fighting over it already. Perfect. We're just going to approach nice and slow. So we can get something interesting thing interesting here, too. Well, man, we got too close to one of those engines. It's still radioactive after all this time. Oh. You'll ever make. Ah, moved. Shit, nice job, Seraph. Way to blow an easy fucking shot. Dumb fuck. Probably more. God only knows what that thing was fighting in here. Got it that time. Okay. Now then. Now let's level up. <laughs> let's take a look here. Okay, Gunslinger. We're 10 levels away from maxing that out. We are not going to get the last level of Sneak again like we did the first time around. That was dumb. Okay. We could do Inspirational now. We, get, we have a couple of options. We could also increase Agility and start getting to work on Ninja to work on our ranged attacks because we do get a lot of sneak attacks and we really should be maxing that out. We're leaving a lot of damage on the table by not doing that. But on the other hand, we really do need to start think working on things like science and chemist. There are just so many, so many perks we need to do for our build, but I think we need to continuously focus on the fact that we are a sneak attack machine. That is by far our bread and butter. We'll do this for now. 
Yes, we'll take up oh, and just like that I'm now encumbered. Shit. Alright, well, that is what it is. We'll take the Luxury Brew Heavy Super Pot. <laughs> Take an astounding layout of tails. Gotta love dogs in the distance. Hey, need some? Yeah, I need you to carry your own weight, buddy. Let's take a look at this. So now we scavenge. And then the next thing we're gonna do is head uh wow. We're carrying a lot of stuff here. <sighs> yes, let's just have you carry that for now. We'll have you carry that too. Yeah, we'll have you carry that. Fuck. We'll just have you carry all the shit that's annoying that I don't want to be carrying. Oh my god. Yeah, that puts me in a much more normal situation. Okay. The only other thing that's kind of important at the moment. Yeah, we'll take 10 millimeter rounds. We will take the flight data recorder. Take the fusion cell and unlock the suitcase. And then we got a really interesting, uh, there's actually a hidden compartment in the luggage, luggage container. We're going to be going right to that luggage, luggage compartment now. Yeah, there's nothing interesting here. I'm going to go straight to that. And we're going to pick this lock. This is really easy to miss. All right, I'll pick that suitcase in a second. But this is the hidden compartment. Like, literally it says hidden compartment. So, I mean, you'll see it if you really are going around to a bunch of things. And, of course, it's a master lock. Let's pick this. Fuck. See, I don't need a mod for that. I say it enough. Wow. Okay, I missed it. <sighs> ah, it's around here. Okay. Yeah, the master locks can be really... There it is. We got it. Yes. All right. Oh, we got a gauze rifle, folks. Holy shit. Oh, that is awesome. That is awesome. We got the smuggling manifest, pre-war money, man, and five mini nukes. That is fucking awesome. You know what? I'm going to take the laser pistols, too, because fuck it. We'll arm uh, a bunch of our settlers with that shit. Now I'm just going to scavenge the rest of this place. That was awesome. That was awesome. That's it. Uh, yeah, we'll take military fatigues because we can. I can work with that. Take that too. Yeah, we'll take money, or we'll take ammo. <laughs> Granted, for me it is money. I use uh, most of the time I pick up ammo. It's just to use it as money. That's all right. Nice. Think you're a master lock picker in real life. This just proves it, right? I mean, I theoretically know how to pick locks, but the one time I actually tried to pick a lock, I couldn't do it. That's it. But the uh but the actual process isn't all that difficult, uh, depending on the quality of the lock. Of course I say that, but the one time I actually tried to pick a lock, couldn't do it. So you know. Take that with a grain of salt. All right. I don't see anything else here. All right. I think we're good. All right. So I think we have, we've gotten everything we could conceivably have gotten out of that. Oh, that's right. We didn't get this lake. Wow. We didn't clear skylines. How do we not clear this? We got everything of value. There's nothing else here. Literally nothing else here. We got everything. We got the safe. There's, there's nothing else, nothing else here. Why is it not saying cleared? Unless it's just being difficult for the sake of being difficult. Wouldn't be the first time. No, we'll take the cap stash, fine. But that wouldn't prevent it from being cleared. Oh well. Fuck it. Okay, screw it. I guess we can't clear this location. <clears throat> I've been listening to Star Wars fan-made songs. Oh boy. Oh, Rust Devil. All right, there's that. So more of the mechanists, robots fighting <laughs> Rust Devils. 
I mean, at this point, now we're just going to see a decent amount of that. But I do have a mod that kind of calms down the automatron quest uh, random encounter frequency. Because if you don't have that, you just have the DLC. For the most part, 95% of your random encounters at this juncture will just be automatron uh, encounters. Whereas now it's still a normal only like 10, 20%, something along those lines. Of course, walking through this uh, rain has been an uh, interesting affair. Could go up there and deal with whoever's up there. Now let's... Let's make our way to Abernathy, not mess around. All right, let's... Oh. We've got a fight of some sort. Let's go check it out. Oh, shit. Come on, Deathclaw. Yeah, I'd really rather... Come on, belly. There we go. The belly is the death class uh, most vulnerable spot. That's kind of why I was aiming for the belly. Oof. Hey. Hello, ma'am. <laughs> well, aren't you guys lucky I happened upon you? <clears throat> Well, I think what we'll do here, hmm? I think what we'll do here is we'll continue. Oh, what else are we fighting? Oh, they're going to fight whoever's up there? Yeah, you guys have fun with that. I'm not messing around with that bullshit. You're just going to be fighting gunners. So I think what we'll do is we'll go to Sanctuary first, and we will take a look at some of our equipment that we just picked up. We're definitely going to get, especially now that we got a gauze rifle, we're going to, uh, oh, I really should have gotten science now that I think about it. Because we need science to modify the uh, gauze rifle. It's all right, it's all right. There are only so many perks. <laughs> there just are. There are just only so many perks. Let's take some rat away. At this point, I feel comfortable holstering my weapon. As the sun starts to rise, looks this completely shitty weather. Now that we got a couple more people here, ooh, we'll definitely take some silk bean and hub flower. Let's assign. Good. Potato plants are here. They're in good shape. That's not what I wanted. Perfect. You can go to Green Top Nursery. Yes. While we're at it. I just want to trade a few things. Sure thing. You are going to take one of these laser pistols. We're going to give you. We're going to give you that. We'll equip you with that. And Minutemen outfit. Yes. We're going to equip that. There we go. Much easier to find that you're a provisioner now. Sweet. <laughs> and you've got, got a completely not shitty uh, weapon. All right. Tato Seems plant. Growing well. we'll grab, grab the Tato's here. We'll put them right in the workbench. So we can make even more Tato plants. No, sorry. <laughs> I'm busy here. You have to give me a minute. All right, workshop transfer. Yeah, we can transfer the junk. Let's also take a look at what we may have in here. Yes, deathclaw meat, mute fruit, potatoes, all those. Excellent. All right, good. We're now doing better there. Marvelous. Okay. So now we've set that up. We've got our supply lines. Excellent. Good, good, good. So once we get to uh, County Crossing, we could just get our supply line right from there. 
connected up. Life will be good. Okay, we're at Ten Pines Bluff now. Let's make our way to Sanctuary. Uh, Ten Pines Bluff is okay for now, right? Yeah. Yeah, we don't need to mess around anything through here. <laughs> Man, this storm is like, oh, for fuck's sakes. <laughs> oh, that was awesome. Just stared off at, with dog meat. They're usually more than one. Pretty sure we're not alone. I actually backed away from it right before it took a chomp out of my face. Oh, wait, there's more. Okay, let's take out this mongrel first. Storm is fucking with me. Shit. Where is it? I hate that beep, beep, beep sound. Raiders have recovered. What a waste of time. <laughs> Captain Pike's chair, that's right. Oh my god. That shit's terrifying. Anything that does that in this game, for the most part, could just blow you up. Instantly. Of course, it also doesn't help that my endurance is shit. And it doesn't take much to actually kill me. I know it's around here somewhere. Okay. Let's... Let's keep going. That, uh... That trapped mole rat must have, uh... Triggered itself against one of the raiders and blown itself up. Thankfully. You know, I didn't realize that, uh... The raiders would have moved in here again so soon. That's my fault. I got careless. Fortunately, it was not a lethal mistake. Um, totally digging all these uh, Minutemen being around. Yep, nothing to report. Good. That's exactly what I want you to hear. <laughs> That's exactly what I want to hear. One of the other nice parts about We Are the Minutemen as a mod is it calms down how many Radiant Minutemen quests you can have at a time. So you don't have, like, a billion running at the same time. So until we talk to Creston, we can now safely listen to Radio Freedom and we don't have to worry about getting a quest from it. Just random ruins here. What's going on up here? I don't see anybody. That's good. I'll take the rat away. I'll take the mole rat chunks. Sure. Always a little disconcerting when you see a uh, campsite. Like, 
Where are they? <laughs> okay, good. This is still clear. Good. Let's head to Sanctuary now. We'll do some bookkeeping and then we'll head to Abernathy Farm to bail them out. Oh, fuck. You've got to be kidding me. So many super mutants. My god. Now we took him out really silently. We got the dog before it could... Stingwing? Yeah, oh, sure, we'll take the stingwing meat. Why not? Really weird for there only to be one. Okay. Okay. Good grief. You know what? Yeah, we'll take the mutant hound meat. Normally, I don't take the mutant hound meat, but we're so close. We'll be offloading it. Fucking wild dogs, man. Come on. Thank you. Let's see. Is there any easy way across there? Nah, not without picking up a bunch of rads. We'll just cross the, rid the bridge. We're this close to it. Fuck it. Across we go. And then we'll grab McCready, get all our shit off of him. We'll do some inventory management here. And yeah, we'll just do it here. Let's take a look. Mutant hound meat, stingwing meat, mute fruit. Do do do. Excellent. Hey, McCready, come here, buddy. Hey. What are you? Yeah. Let's take the missile launcher, the leather. Oh yeah, we'll just take all this shit. Uh, I think rest out will just keep. So at this point, do I? Why does he have? Now well, it's rapid. It's fine. <laughs> I love how Piper gives you shit, even from inside the house. <laughs> Uh, last night I remember that Shining Force 3 has a debug menu with a sound test. Needless to say, I've got a... Oh, nice! Oh, man, there's some good material in there. Holy shit. I pretty much picked the ones that made either me or Freak Ball <laughs> I'm listening to them. Nice. Very nice. Uh, oh, you, I was like, wait, you were str you were streaming like that? I'm like, no, right, you guys were watching wrestling last night. Um... Yeah, one of these days I gotta join you guys on for that. I don't, uh... Last night I was tired, though. I crashed. I crashed quick last night. Uh, I did I did not last. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Okay, so I like... Oh, man, I'm still overweight? Fuck. All right, well, shit. Thankfully, we're not far. I'll lumber over to the uh, workshops over here. Oh, man, I, I can't wait. Oh, my goodness, I can't wait. I'm going to be able to go in fresh be like, ooh, what, what, new, what new sound effects are going to be in here? I bet the game audio has got to be amazing when there's not any other audio playing. Oh, and to get a clean sound effect from that? Nice. Do I look like I want to chit chat? Shut up, Marcy. Would you like me to go with you? No, Ada. Ugh. Actually, I'll be back later. Very well, ma'am. Ada is cool, though. I really can't give her too much shit, but... <laughs> yeah, she's a, she is a cool companion. You know, I could have just eaten some of that grilled rad stag, but whatever. Alright, let's take a look. What do I have at the moment? I've got a VATS enhanced heavy armor chest piece. So let's take a look. This one... Only... It's a difference between... Wow. It's so a difference between 35 and 35, but this one provides rad resistance just by the virtue that it's light and BOS. So, let's take the VATS Enhanced off here. We'll put the VATS Enhanced on here. And we can see what we can do with that in a minute. So I do remember that being a pretty decent chess piece. 
Whoops. Take a look. Yeah, that's pretty cool. We'll keep that for now. Yeah, we'll keep that for now. All right. So now we can... Whoops, that's not what I wanted. We can... You know, maybe we should just keep this for the moment. Just in case I want to go back to it. This we don't need. That just ignites things. Okay, I need to think about this. Left arm, what do we got? We got fortifying. That's pretty decent. Got the champion, which is plus one agility perception. Uh, only harvesting 100% unadulterated shit tier, S tier shit tier voice acting for the game, nice. <laughs> oh boy. Oh boy. Man, that is a nice set of uh, armor, but at the same time, boy, uh, I like the martyrs, so we'll keep that, but let's, we'll keep it, but we're not going to, we're not going to, yeah, because we only get one piece of steel from it. Fuck that. And um, all right, we'll take off poisoners. All right. We've got some decent stuff here. Let's see. We got a combat armor left leg. We got Acrobat on the right. Let's go here, and we'll put that Poisoners on here. There we go. Now we got Poison Resistance. That's pretty nice. We'll take that. The Minutemen outfit. We could put... Oh, right. We could put a piece of Legendary on that if we wanted to. Yeah, we don't need to do that just yet. But we could modify that if we so chose. Maybe we should, actually. Okay. And we'll go with the martyrs for that. Perfect. Okay. We can do insulated. We'll take a little extra. Perfect. Okay, and now we got to the point we've gotten to the point where we can actually make some of this shit invisible if we really so chose. But I think we're okay with going with the normal outfits here for the moment still. So far so good. Okay. Yeah, yeah, I know. We're still carrying too much. I know, I know. Over here we go. Come on, McCready. Get away from it. Thank you. Okay. We don't need Defiant. Yeah, I'd rather have the Legendary. Pff, damage against robots. No, that's not necessary. We'll, t we'll take that. Uh, yeah, I don't need a pipe pistol. Don't even know why I've got a pipe pistol. Let's see. No, we'll keep the one gauze rifle. We'll just put it in our stuff. But let's take a look. Can we do a shielded barrel? Yes, we can. Then I need gun nut, nut four four. This I'm gonna need science. Yep, we're gonna need science. Damn. Ah, uh, fuck. All right, we can at least put a combat scope on you. Yeah, and I can't put any of this shit on there because yeah, I need science. I need a lot of science. Shit. At this point, it might not even be worth it to use the gauze rifle yet. Let's see. Overseer's Guardian does 82. Well, this does 137. So yeah, no, this is still a better... Well, no, Overseer's Guardian is 2. So 100% damage and all that. So it's really 160. Uh, we're talking about 140. We're really not talking to that much of a difference here. And this is much more upgradable. You know what? I think I might just keep the gauze rifle, to be honest. Range 215. Yeah, it's got better range. Probably fire faster. Fire rate 66. Yeah, twice the fire rate. Yeah, I think we're going to go with the gauze rifle here. I think that's what we're doing here, people. I don't think there's anything else I could do with this until I get science. Nope, there really isn't. Yeah, I need science for that. Okay. That look easy. 
That's okay. Oh, perfect. And we're already back to below. Sweet. Hey, buddy. Hi. I've got to hand it to you, General. You really turned things around for the Minuteman. Yes, we I have. I thought I'd see the day that the Minuteman had artillery support again. We should see about building them at all our settlements to expand our coverage. And Ronnie Shaw returns. That's what I forgot to do. Something else, isn't she? She's the only one left who remembers when the castle was Minutemen HQ. She knew about the old armory. I'd heard stories about her from the old timers, but I didn't know she was still around. The fact that she's come back to the Minutemen means we must be doing something right. I'll let you know if I hear of any settlements that need our help. In the meantime, make sure to offer help to anyone that needs it. That can only help our cause. I cleared out the ghouls that were giving that settlement trouble. Glad to hear it, General. It's hard enough out here without people having to worry about ghouls in their backyard. Excellent. Marvelous. Hmm. I must have tinkered with something. So now that's in the wrong spot in the wrong space. <laughs> uh, that's all right. Yeah, I must have fucked with something when I was uh, tinkering with some of these. The uh, locations for them aren't exactly in the right spot anymore. Whoops. That's okay. We'll put this gauze rifle in there. We'll put the two laser pistols in here. At this point, yeah, we'll put Overseer's Guardian in there. Because then I don't have to worry about the 308 ammo or 45 ammo. I could just start selling that again. Put these in there. Yeah, we'll keep these. Yeah, this all looks good. All looks good. All right. Oh, military fatigues I need to put in there. Uh, yeah, why not? We'll put these in here. Just in case I'm ever dealing with this. And I want to put that in there. Man, we got a lot of med -X. I should start selling that. Okay. okay. We're almost done here. We're almost there. Go here, store the junk. Put the two mods in there. Who's over here? Put the military fatigues in there because we can make Minutemen outfits out of the military fatigues. Which is going to be super awesome. But yeah, I don't know what I'm doing with all some of this shit. And yeah, I definitely have way more med than I need. Oh, and I've got more stealth boys than I know what the fuck to do with. Jesus. Why do I have this many stealth boys? You know what? I'll put some of the stealth boys over here. That'll do. The next time I have an abundance of stealth boys, I'll bring them to the castle and I'll put them there. Okay. Weight-wise, we should be good. Hey. Yep, hey yourself, Preston. Let's take a look now. Cross rifle. Perfect. Marvelous. That is a beautiful thing. This is a beautiful, beautiful weapon. Granted, I don't have that much ammunition for it because it takes EC ammo. But when I need to snipe, <laughs> this is going to be a beauty. Oh, that's what I wanted to do. Let's go in here. I think there's a way to do it. Hollow tapes. See through scope settings. Take a look. Is there a way we can change the button? Let's see. Auto toggle perspective. Combat scopes only. Hold breath. Hold breath key. There we go. Let's see. Melee key with prompt. Melee key prevent grenades. Yes. That works. <laughs> Let's try that. Save. <laughs> Look at that. It still fucking does it. All right. So that didn't work. It's just so bizarre, man. Not sure why my see through scopes is not hold breath key. Maybe we'll try that. Yeah. 
Man. Alright, I'll have to fiddle with it later. Would be really nice to be able to hold my breath, though, with the weapon without having to throw a fucking grenade. Really fucking annoying. Anyway. Let's cruise over here. Rescue Abernathy Farm. And while we're at it, we will bolster their defenses. Yeah, yeah, up we go. At some point, I keep missing the... Gr There's a safe around here, and I keep missing it. I'm not sure where that safe is, but it's like... In this general area. I don't know how I keep missing it. Each time. But I know it's around here. Very strange. Yeah, we're in the... This is always a weird performance area of the game. We're right between a bunch of cells, so it always loads them all. The good news is we should be able to go here, talk to a few people. I helped those settlers out. Great news, I have uh, another settlement that needs your help, right? So that's the nice part. Uh, I was just saying that, Ghosty, about where are the Minutemen. It calms that down so that when you cash in a quest, he's just like, okay, cool, thanks. And they don't immediately nag you. Mr. Abernathy. I hope you're here to help. Yeah, I'm here to help. What's the problem? Some raiders have been threatening us if we didn't give them supplies. We told them to take a fly and leave. Now that we had the Minutemen backing us up. Fuck yeah, Abernathy. But they didn't seem too impressed. Said they'd be back with their friends to make an example out of us. We're not soldiers. We're hoping you can help us set up some defenses before it's too late. Hell yeah, let's do it. Alright, so we got a couple of defenses here. Now do we... Okay, Abernathy Farm is set up for this. Good. Good. Come on, man. So this will be fun. Third time. All right, you asshole raiders. We've set up some uh, defenses. There they are. <laughs> oh shit, that was a fucking massacre. <laughs> oh my god. Wow, what a bunch of punks. What a bunch of total bitches. Oh my, 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 my. <laughs> Holy shit. Well... They got their ass kicked. Now, where's Blake? Hey, uh... Hey, Blake. Where are you, buddy? Where the fuck did Blake go? Where the fuck did his ass clown go? He was just eating breakfast a second ago. Man, it is just... Pause in every fucking two seconds, isn't it? There you are. Blake. We did it. I was afraid we were making a mistake trying to stand up to those bastards. But the Minutemen came through for us. Fucking A right we did, buddy. You should have seen it. We cut those raiders to pieces. I doubt they'll be back. <laughs> those raiders, I don't even think, got it off a shot. <laughs> we kicked their ass. Yeah, we'll go right back. Where the fuck is that? 
Oh, good. More Minutemen? Oh, that's my provisioner, I think. But where the hell is that safe? I know that safe is, like, right over here somewhere. It's driving me crazy. Where the fuck is that thing? There's the red rocket. Going that way would be too far south, I think. I think it's more along here with the thistle. I feel like. Well, maybe not. I don't know. Ugh. All right, let's just get the hell over here. To heck with it. Yeah, we've already gone too south, too far south. Still not too bad. It was fairly straightforward. Just went over, beat the shit out of a couple of raiders. Yeah, we'll go back to our tried and true 10 millimeter. All right. So just like that, our Minutemen faction is starting to come together now. Oh, nice. There's iBots that play Radio Freedom. That's awesome. <laughs> that was awesome. <laughs> Uh, all right, Preston, where'd you go, buddy? There's Sturgis. Okay, fine. All right, you're right up here. Perfect. Hey, vault Tech guy. There we go. There you are. Hey, Preston. What do you need, General? I taught those raiders a lesson. They won't be attacking another settlement again. That's good. I hope I live to see the day when people aren't always worried about the next raider attack. Yeah, whoops. I'll have to fix that later. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> at this point I've gone too far to just load up a uh, load a save from before I was tinkering with all those settings so now we should build some artillery and assign someone to it there's somebody there's bound to be somebody here that hasn't let's do that Let's build ourselves a nice artillery piece. Let's assign something to it. Hey, look at that. June. There we are. That works. <laughs> okay. Next up. I mean, I could do the same with Abernathy Farm, but... I usually uh, don't really worry about that one too much. But we'll go to Starlight. And we'll build an artillery piece there. We'll assign someone to that. We should go up to Ten Pines Bluff, build artillery, assign someone to that. Fucking traffic cones. <laughs> uh, I wonder if I should even mess around with the uh, gas station here. I probably should go there and just build some shit, but... Oh, fuck. And Grey Garden suffered damage from an attack. God damn it. Okay, we know we have a save from here. Perfect. We're just going to load this quick save. I hate that, where sometimes it'll display a message and it goes so fast that you don't even see it. Because it doesn't display in here. You don't even know you have to do it. You have to scroll down to miscellaneous and then see it here. So, yes. Let's fast travel. All right, we'll fast travel to Grey Garden, and thus we'll be able to defend Grey Garden. That's my only gripe about this game. No matter how well defended you have a settlement, if you're not there to defend it, it'll fail. But now we're here. Let's see what legendary thing you had. We'll take that. These raiders didn't stand a chance. 
And yet if you're not here, you just fail. It's so annoying. Someone fired a flare. Nice. Go see. Where are the rest of these assholes? There are more. I don't see them. I hear them. Hmm. I got, I've got turrets galore over here. Well, we're at it. Fine. There they are. Yeah, I've got so many defenses set up that uh, they die, like, nearly instantly. But no matter. New work assignment confirmed. Perfect. Now, we have artillery support at Grey Garden. Don't need to worry about this shit anymore. All right. So we'll save. Now that we don't have to worry about that shit. Good grief. Fucking assholes. <laughs> it's such a pain in the ass to have to do it this way. Okay, so we've got artillery support now at Grey Garden and Sanctuary. I probably could build it at Starlight Drive-In. I should go to Sunlight Shiding's co-op and build an artillery piece there, but I won't go. I, I won't until I actually go there again. Do we go to Lexington and clear out all that place? Yeah, it doesn't matter if you have a bajillion turrets. It's just a single. It's totally true. It's totally true, Dark Star. It drives me crazy. It, they think you only have like a 10% chance of succeeding at these. I don't know why they do it that way. I mean, I know they want you here to defend against them, but um, it's it's the one thing I would change about this if I could, like the vanilla behavior. It's absurd to me that um, no matter how much you defend the place, it will it will just fail if you're not here to defend it. It's like, come on. Like, are you serious? Are you serious right now? Anyway, but with that extra artillery, that should help discourage any more of these assholes. Emphasis on the should discourage them, but we know how that goes. You know what? Let's go. Let's go get that bobblehead. At this point, we're now capable of going up to Lexington. We're this close to it. Let's cruise up here and let's get the bobblehead. And Corvega does look beautiful. <laughs> And now we're getting to a point where we're high enough level where we can actually where we can actually tackle this. When the game sends you here, when you're like level five, you are not even remotely leveled enough to deal with all the bullshit that's here at the Corvega plant. It's it's really absurd. <laughs> now, granted, we made it work because we were stealthy. We kind of just went in, went out, and that was the end of it. But, um, that dog meat finding something, or am I hearing dogs? I think I'm just hearing weird shit around Lexington. I don't think I'm hearing dog meat. I think I'm hearing another dog. I'm out of range. Yeah, I'm out of range of that one. Find him, find him. Back up ah, shit. Now I know this fucker is in here somewhere. Yeah, they managed to get me. Let's switch. OK, 
carry you. Yeah, they're far further enough away from that window. I can't quite get them. I'm so dead. I think you're going to be the dead one once I sneak around. Or if I can get a gang angle on you from over here. We might be able to get the angle on him from over there. Oh, McCready got it. <laughs> I was finally there. I finally had the angle. It took me a while. But I mean, I eventually got here. Nothing useful there. You're a raider around there somewhere. <laughs> Yes, there is. I'm definitely over here. <laughs> Think you can hide? I found him. You killed him. <laughs> Nice job ducking. Give you credit for that one. Good. McCready, you can handle the one down there. We'll handle the ones up here. Ow! Fuck. Good aim with that fucking Molotov cocktail. Oh, there goes their body. <laughs> so even if the gunshot didn't kill him, the fall did. Where is that one? Right, well, I'm not going to worry about that. While I'm at it, since we're getting a bunch of stin packs. And the whole point of coming up here, the repair bobblehead. Now fusion cores permanently last 10% longer. It is a beautiful uh, view of the wasteland. Man. Makes you think this place used to be really beautiful. Hey, dog meat. Good boy. I think there's one more raider down there that McCready's in combat with. Although, why McCready hasn't finished it off yet, I have no idea. You can hear them duking it out. Yeah, peekaboo, motherfucker. <laughs> I played that game way better than you did. You. Why do they always... you got stuck in the girders. <laughs> that was awesome. Yeah, you did just have a switchblade. I wasn't all that worried about it because it just had a switchblade. Now there should be a turret down there. Shit. Okay. So now I guess the question I should answer myself is, do I just go down and go back into Lexington? Lexington is kind of a shithole. There is a turret down here that I'll have to deal with. I can at least... Well, you didn't have any ammo. Sucks. 
Yep, there's that turret. Feel like it's right there. I could be wrong. Ooh, used oil can. We'll take that. I must not have had a good angle at it. There's that. I knew it had to be over here. Didn't find the find anything useful on them? Nope. So normally these would be like your main entrances, but clearly we uh, we didn't go anywhere near these areas. We instead went in through the back when we did this earlier. We were not high level enough to be able <laughs> capable of this shit. But now, now we pretty much are. We're still squishy, but. We're good enough with firearms. We do enough damage. Let's see. Let's take a look at the Super Duper Mart. Make sure our wonderful friend... Oh, yep. Our wonderful friend is there. Enough out of you. <laughs> <laughs> that was nice. Okay. Yep, that's still. You know how many oil there yet? Oh, we can go up there and get a couple of mini nukes. We may as well do that. think so but you'd be wrong this is bullshit <laughs> son of a bitch knows I'm closing in on him he can feel it even if he can't see me <laughs> Man, that shit never gets old. <sighs> oh, really? A mini nuke? Fucker. Bastard. Your way down from here. I feel like there's a way down. Yes, good. That's the easier way down. It's definitely an easier way down. It is not an easy way up from that direction. Going up that way is fucking complete bullshit. Uh. Yeah, why not? And we're this close. Let's clear off. Grab that. And we'll deal with this apartment building. We'd heard about this. Oh, you know what? I don't know what the hell is up with that other weird sound. Let's go into the Lexington Pharmacy. Let's see if there's anything useful in here. I love some of the unmarked locations. You get some really interesting stuff. What the heck happened in here? This place is trashed. See. Yeah, nothing else of value. So dealing with Blurp is a fight with one of the biggest UI pet peeves. Drag and drop only re uh only reordering. Yeah, oh my god. Uh it's really annoying. Yeah, Blurp is not great with that. Oh, what'd you find? Hey. 
What ghoul did you find, buddy? It's got to be a ghoul, right? He seems to be going over this way. Good boy. Alright, back over this way we go. We'll explore this other location since we're here. Oh my god, McCready, shut the fuck up. There it is. It's like where am I like where am I going? I feel like I should have been able to find that much easier than that. There is a tripwire up here that we have to be careful of. And they give it a, they kind of give you a clue when you see this eviscerated settler that there's going to be some sort of a problem. <laughs> there it is. Bunch of body parts. Fucking dicks. Oh man. This thing was blown to bits. <laughs> That's how we do things around here. Dead before they even knew it fucking hit them. <laughs> yeah, it's copper and glass, but it's way too heavy. Alright, now my Ooh, yes, overdue book. We'll take that. I only need one more for the fucking library now. All right. So one of the nice things about this area, if you're really low levels, when you go out here, you'll be on, on the roof and you can actually uh, kind of snipe the raider with the fat man at a uh, at, at a distance, at a fairly safe distance, because he really can't. He has a hard time. Well, depending on how the raider spawns, he or she has a hard time getting a beat on you. So you can sort of slowly whittle, whittle the raider down. And be able to deal with it. That should be cleared now. Oh, that's not cleared. We cleared it. We killed everybody in there. Eh, whatever. Fuck it. All right, fine. Let's clear out Taffington Boathouse. We do have a mission for that. Fine, we'll reholster our weapon. Let's see what we got. Yeah, we'll get rid of that squirrel on a stick. This area is pretty neat. There's a magazine to be had here. For the most part, there isn't anything here, usually. Usually. <laughs> I have on occasion dealt with things that uh, kind of wander in here, but I don't think anything spawns here. So close. I'll take the beer bottle. Definitely take the wonder glue. Woohoo! Alright, any day now, McCready, you want to, uh... This will go into the basement. There's a fusion core down there. That's it. Oh. 
I love the coffin that's just randomly down here. <laughs> I don't think there's any. I've tried to get see if there's anything in it, but I've never found anything. Okay, so now. Yeah, we don't need a Jenkles the Moon Monkey. They're good here. We'll take the jet. Oh, and we'll take the aluminum and plastic. Take the septic. Oh, right, it was right here. Tales of a junk down. So now we'll have better prices when buying from a vendor. It was so nice. I'll definitely take the pencil. All right. And yeah, one of the things you'll find going through this game is uh, the constant references for Halloween shit. Yeah, we're this close. Let's go to Starlight. We'll build our artillery piece there. We're literally right here. Yeah, at one point I kind of worked out with the artillery radius, radius to get as much map coverage with building as few artillery pieces as possible. And I think for the most part, if you really are selective, you could still get like 80 to 90% of the map with just building six artillery pieces. It's, it's actually pretty funny. Uh, where do I want to put this artillery piece? Let's see. It's probably better over here. Oh, wow, we're already getting... Low on uh, that, huh? Pretty crazy. Okay, we'll do that. We're assigned to as a provisioner. Perfect. You can go over here. Wow, I can't believe I'm already at nine beds. Or I'm already at ten people. Fuck. Okay. Well. Well. Something's out there. Well, something's not going to be out there for very much longer. <laughs> the rad scorpion. <laughs> Takes care of that. Yeah, the turrets hit the car. The car exploded, killing the rad scorpion. That's funny. <laughs> Wow, not even rad scorpions stand a chance uh, here. That's funny as shit. I think this could be a decent place to live. Yes, you're right. Okay, but I do need to build you a bed. So, shit, that's that's on me. Uh, all right. One thing I am gonna do. I really don't want to make mess around with this right now. So, let's just, for the sake of it, for now. Just to make the settlement itself here happy. All right. I'll come back to this later. <laughs> temporary measure. Just, just temporary. And now we've built our artillery piece. Dump all this shit in here. All right, we're good. Excellent. Okay. Back out we go. Yeah, unfortunately, it's, it would have been nice if we could have made it extend a little bit more, but I think overall this this is not too bad. Not a bad little temporary headquarters that we needed at the time. Granted, the game really uh, fast tracked us getting the castle. I didn't, I kind kind of didn't expect us to get the castle so fast. All right, well, since it's dragging its feet about um, McCready, why don't we start making our way to downtown Boston here? And we'll just go on with the main quest. I mean, we got Corvega. We got the bobblehead. We did... Oh, uh, I do want to do the uh, artillery. We'll do that artillery really fast. But then, yeah. The plan will be... We'll build artillery here. Oh, right. Taffington both housed. Yeah, let's do Taffington real quick. And then next time I'm up in the region of um, Ten Pines Bluff... I'll build an artillery piece there. Yeah, yeah. Come on. <laughs> I'm loving all the provisioners I have now. <laughs> the Commonwealth certainly does uh, feel a lot more alive than it did. Holy shit. 
Yeah, you and what army certainly uh, does live up to its name, doesn't it? Covenant is a very interesting place, but I like to do Covenant once I get Deacon as a companion. Either Deacon or, or Kiri. And we'll get into more detail with who they are when we get them, but so I don't want to get too far ahead of myself here. But uh, in any event, yeah, that's Covenant. We'll go there with uh, with Deacon here, and Deacon will be the next companion we get once we get McCready all maxed out. Here we are. There's Taffington Boathouse. We just need to clear this place of all the bugs. Yeah, it would have been better if we'd had a better weapon here, but... Oh my god, really? Okay, fine. Wow, that's garbage. Oh my god, I can't... Whoops. You know, I forgot that there was a, uh, a mine there. I completely forgot there was a mine there. Okay, so we don't need to mess with that. You didn't even hear the fucker. Enough of that little bitch. Up here we go. Okay. So far, so good. Let's pick this fucking thing. Got it. Pick the steamer trunk. There we are. Nice. Yeah, sure, we'll take the plasma grenade. That's always nice. Uh, I don't really need to worry about... I'm not going to worry about anything that's actually sitting around here because when we start building this place, we'll be able to scavenge all that. Okay. So far, so good. Out here we go. Okay, pick this lock. So close. Got it. Yes. But can you do a blindfold? Oh, McCready. Well, I don't need the double barrel shotgun. But yeah, if we swim under here, these would. Yeah, right. I'm already starting to get a little annoyed by the constant howling of those wolves. Well, I think we're good here. We got it. All right, so just we'll do it. Just a few elementary things here. Because once we re once we uh, report this, then settlers will just show up. Now it's only going to be two, and there are three beds. So we're okay there. But just the same. I want this to be as ready as possible for these settlers when they do show up. I haven't actually decided what I'm going to do 
with um with this settlement. Like a lot of times I'll turn it into a water farm, but we have the castle now and we've got sanctuary, so I don't really need a uh, a water farm. You do get to a point of like, well, what do you really scrap all this shit um so yeah I, I have to figure out really what the hell point of this uh of this is going to be i'm not sure yet i do want to keep the uh the safe though just because the rest of this stuff can stay mm. uh yeah the shadeless lamp though will scrap that will scrap because we need the copper. I think we should be able... No, we can't build a single fucking turret. That's lovely. God damn it. All right, we can at least build a water pump. You know what? Can I build a generator? No, I cannot build a generator. All right, resources. Water it is. That's all right. That'll be fine for everything here. We'll worry about that later. Toss in anything I may have picked up. Cool. We're good. Now then, where do I go? Uh, report settling. Yep, county crossing. So we'll head up here really fast. Drug lab, bullet. Fa oh, yeah. <laughs> Drug lab, a bullet factory. I mean, I'm going to need a bullet factory uh, at some point. I don't know if a drug lab fits this particular playthrough, but depending on your character concept, a drug farm absolutely does make sense, in, especially in Fallout. I mean, you can you can really play the gamut of character possibilities in this game. Everything is is really fair game. Uh, it, it's 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 amazing. <laughs> I think that's the gullet sinkhole, but it might be like lake. You know what? It is the lake. Good. Let's go detect this lake. There's actually a quest we need to do still at Diamond City. As far as uh, <laughs> drug farm is concerned. Oh, there's my... There's a raider. Come on. Detect this fucking location, will ya? Is there a different lake? Oh, it's taking me to the sinkhole, isn't it? Yeah, it's taking me to the sinkhole. Okay, that's a totally separate... Hmm. Yeah, that's the sinkhole. And that's this. Let's do this really fast. Managed to get him that time. <laughs> Bastard. Fuck. Man, thank God you guys are here. Oof. Well, let's see what you have. Unyielding, huh? We'll take that. Sure. Shush. All right. Well, let's, uh, let's try that again. This <laughs> time, maybe a drug lag at Sunshine Meadows with the hippie robot. Yeah, that would make sense, right? At the Sunshine Tidings Co-op. <laughs> that kind of does make a lot of sense. Man, I love Doctor Goodfields. Oh, that crazy robot. Oh, you motherfucker. Fucking legendary rad scorpion. That's such bullshit. 
<laughs> okay, there we go. <laughs> oh my god. We'll take the Hitman. Ooh, actually, I like Hitmans. We'll take that. You, you little bastard. He'll never do it again. I only have, I know I have only have limited 44 ammunition, but it was worth it. It was worth it to kill. Oh, hey, cat. Hello, kitty kitty. Has my girl. Who's my Cleo? My kitty cat did you good girl. All right, let's see if we can detect. There we go. Good. Now we're not going to get anywhere near that sinkhole now. <laughs> hey, full star, how are you? Uh, oh. Why, thank you. I didn't need a reminder of that. What we like, explosive or incendiary? Yes, absolutely. Or um, my personal favorite is instigating. Oh, uh, that's what you meant? Yeah, instigating is amazing. I'm actually not a big fan of explosive weapons. I know that sounds like strange, uh, with the exception of like, unless you get like an explosive minigun or something. Yeah, nice drink. Why, thank you. I appreciate that. Hello, kitty kitty. Uh, excellent. Why, thank you. I appreciate that. Yay, cheers. <laughs> I almost said that in the same term of like, yay, beer. <laughs> That's what I should do. Maybe I'll do like a, a little bit of an edit where it, says, it starts with yay, beer, and it just then ends up with me going like, cheer, <laughs> or something, something like horrendously edited or something. That would be fun. But greetings, uh, greetings, Polestar. Good to see you. And the same joy. Yes. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, the ghost he was talking about there, I think you were talking about instigating. Yeah, instigating is amazing, especially for sniper weapons. Because uh, what instigating, instigating will do is it'll be 100% damage on if the enemy is at full health. So it essentially, for a sniper weapon, ends up doing double damage. It's amazing. Yeah, we'll take the fishing rod, sure. Uh, at this point, we're close enough. We can go to... Uh, we can go to Green Top Nursery and we can build that artillery piece. Hello, Cleo. What are we doing? Hi, honey. Are, are you looking for dinner? Is that why you're being annoying? Ow. Ow. You're biting me. Ow. You're biting me. Ow. Okay. 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 <laughs> okay. Clearly, hey. <laughs> freezing. Yes. Freezing is nice. It is also nice. Freezing high-powered rifles could definitely lead to physics shenanigans. Oh, Oh my god, yes they can. <laughs> that reminds me, I need to go get the freezing weapon now that I got master lock picking. Ow, stop biting me. Oh my god. All right, you're hungry, honey. It's time for dinner. Okay. Give me one second. Give me one second, folks. Let me go feed cat because she is clearly ready for her dinner. It's still a little early, shithead. It's not five o'clock, it's four. But you know what? It's it's close enough. We can feed you. Uh I will be I will be right back. And I'm going to be back with a little more water uh, so that when I need to take a drink, I can. I'll be back in just a minute or two, folks. All right. I know I love you, too. You're hungry. I know. I know. I know. I know. Come on. All right. All right. You win. I know. Come on. <laughs> All right. You're allowed to ask me. It would have been nice.
<laughs> Sorry, everybody. My cat is an asshat. <laughs> uh, all right. So yes, where were we? Oh yes, Hi yeah. Freezing high-powered rifles could definitely do physics shenanigans. I mean, the whole the game bio engine itself kind of lends itself to having some very uh, interesting physics shenanigans. Okay. Let's go back to in-game. Marvelous. That's true. Vats does break physics in general. Oh. Okay. Actually, maybe I should go in here. Fallout. Uh, let's see. HUD. <laughs> yeah, I must have messed something up here. Don't know where I managed to hide it though. Hmm. Anyway, I'll have to I'll just have to mess with it later. But we may as well save the game since we haven't saved it in forever. Okay. What am I doing? Right. We're going to Green Top Nursery. Is that what I was going for? It's going for this. But yeah, Vats definitely breaks uh, physics. Well, you've got the slow time <laughs> aspect of it. Yeah, it is, it's it's pretty goofy. All right. Okay. Yep, you are unassigned. Perfect. So you're already doing that, which is good. We'll put you over here. Marvelous. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Cool. Sweet. Okay. Anything else I want to toss in here? Oh, yeah. More rad scorpion meat. Man, we got a ton of that. Hell, I can even start making some of these chems. <laughs> Yeah, let's make let's just make a bunch of psycho jet. Hell, we can make a bunch of med X. That's what we need Hubflower and Budley for. We got uh, XL. Value seventy, value sixty. So that's actually more valuable. And we get the same amount of XP, so we may as well make psycho jet. <coughs> Yeah, let's just do that. We'll carry a little less. Perfect. All right, let's gain a level. And now we should probably do science so that we could, uh, although, geez. <laughs> you know, it gets into that point of like, do you, do you improve your sneak attack damage or do you uh, be able to build your shit, you know? Um, yeah, let's prioritize the build here. We'll worry about luxury things later. Let's let's max out ninja. But we like XP. Okay. Now at this point we need to right. Defend Abernathy Farm. We did travel to Abernathy Farm. Wait, do we have to defend them again? Wait, were there multiple attacks that were Oh my god, what's going on here? You gotta be fucking kidding me. We did that. Oh, fuck. I guess there were multiple settlement attacks. Or something. Oh, for fuck's sakes. That's gonna be really annoying. I was gonna continue heading this way and do Finch Farm. But now I'm worried about... Oh, Jesus Christ, what a pain in the ass. Alright, let's report our success to the fucking County Crossing. And then what we'll do is we'll just fast travel to Abernathy Farm. Maybe we just need the cell to reload or something.
worry about it when we get back there. Problem solved. Thank you, McCready. <laughs> Problem is I'm in a completely different part of the Commonwealth now. We were literally just at Abernathy Farm. You know what? I was I was a little surprised it was only three fucking raiders. So we must have just been there for a random raider attack, but we still have to protect them from the actual main raider attack. Fuck. That's so annoying. What? Take care of that. Commonwealth is a dangerous place. But boy, do mods really make a difference. The Commonwealth looks so much better modded. Fuck. That's a rad scorpion. Nice shot, McCready. Is that it? Okay. Yeah, normally jumping on cars is not a, uh, a great strategy. It's definitely a bold strategy cotton type moment. But... Safety off. I think we have company. Oh, didn't keep going. Fine. There we go. We got it. I fucking hate insect enemies so much. Of course, it doesn't help that the only melee weapon I've really picked up at this point is a, uh... Is a flippin', um... You know, little switchblade. It'd be nicer if I had, a, like, a real sword or anything that was even remotely substantial. All right, you dipshits. You made me go to the National Guard training yard, which actually wasn't even all that far away. I really should have just cashed in the quest while I was over there. Like, well, I was kind of still close by here, but whatever. I cleared that place out for you. Should be safe for your friends to move in now. Yeah, that's annoying. Nice to have some good news around here for a change. By the way, We've decided to support the Minutemen. We've got to help each other if we want things to get better. Damn straight. All right. So now we start working our way back. Now we go back to Greentop Nursery. We set one of them to be a provisioner down here. We'll worry about this when we get back here. Back up the road we go. Literally back right up the fucking road. There's National Card Draining Round. Yeah, you can pretty much pretty much take any route. Yeah, we don't need wild tarberry. Um, we could either take this road or we could take the road that runs east of here. But since we just came this way, should be fairly safe to take this road back. Emphasis on the should. Huh. Well, 40% of my channel points slots are now full. Wow. <laughs> That's a lot. Oh boy. They were smart. They kind of split up. Got him. You point, and I'll shoot. Pretty simple arrangement. Actually, we'll be up there pretty quick. Fucking super mutants, man. They're actually still responsible for my only two deaths in this run. <laughs> 
Well, to be more accurate, a super mutant suicider. Or no. No, the first one wasn't a suicider that got me. It was uh, super mutants shot the car and then the car exploded. It, but the second one was definitely a super mutant suicider. Scored a touchdown. You actually get an achievement for that. What am I doing? Alright, so I just need to set one of these provisioners to go down to County Crossing, and we'll be good to go. Just need to find one. They're probably all asleep. Wait, where are all my... Where are my settlers? You're assigned to defense, that's fine. You're assigned to food. You're assigned to food. Yeah, we'll scrap the tires. Oh, there's only one extra settler here so far. Shit. Alright, I'll have to wait. Alright, I'll just have to wait. They'll show up. Okay, that being the case, let's just do the map. And let's go to Abernathy Farm. We'll fast travel. And hopefully, this defense thing will trigger... Hopefully. Wait, am I losing my mind? Oh my god. Oh, I loaded before we showed up here. I thought it was after. Fuck. All right. God damn it. Fine. <sighs> Shit. Mr. Abernathy. I hope you're here to help. I should have just gone back to Grey Garden and just fixed the damage. I didn't realize that we undid this. Yeah, I'm here to help. What's the problem? Some raiders have been threatening us. If we didn't give them supplies, we told them to take a fly and leap. Now that we had the Minutemen backing us up. But they didn't see Nothing like doing this quest twice. Said they'd be back with their friends. But at least now I understand what the fuck happened. We're not soldiers. We're hoping you can help us set up some defenses before it's too late. Yeah, as soon as I came over here and I didn't see that turret def uh, tower, I'm like, oh, that's what happened. That's bullshit. Then these assholes show up. are these guys or was that something totally different Bring in the ah there they are <laughs> same thing <laughs> man these guys were such a waste of time I can't believe they made us do this twice super lame hell my freaking Minutemen took care of it but <laughs> like my turrets didn't even fire a shot it's fine not better. Blake. We did it. I was afraid we were making a mistake trying to stand up to those bastards. But the Minutemen came through for us. <laughs> yep, my misfortune will definitely inspire another sound alert. <laughs> oh my goodness. Hey Ziltoid, how do I feel about that? Oh, so lame. Yeah, that's fucking right. <laughs> my god. What utter bollocks. Whatever. Not fucking bitter at all. Anyway. Alright. Save this time. Let's go to uh, Preston and cash this one in. These fucking dicks. I can't believe that shit. I'm looking over at it. I'm like, didn't we do that? <laughs> Heard the price is right. Loser horn in my head. And now it's added to... <laughs> Oh, that's perfect. Well, I, I'm I'm glad I, I I'm here all week. 
Oh my god. This is like, you gotta be kidding me, man. But yeah, you could see why for this purpose, I was like, all right, fuck that. We're not running back and forth. I'm just gonna come over here. There it is. Come on, cell, load. Thank you. Get a couple stim packs and we'll take up some 10 millimeter ammo. Thank you. I knew it was around there somewhere. I couldn't figure out why the fuck I couldn't find it, but there it is. There you go. Glad I could glad I could be of help. <laughs> Fortunately, we didn't we didn't really lose much. Uh, because we had already modified our weapons, we'd already taken care of all that shit. So we don't have to do that again, thankfully. We just had to deal with this. Right? I guess the question is, do we want to take the Hitmans off that Gamma Gun and put it on the Gauze Rifle? But I don't think so. Could put it on the Magnum Auto Loader, though. Make it a Hitman's Magnum. That could be cool. That could be cool. Now that we've got a Hitman's weapon. I think that'd be neat. Why not? Perfect. Yeah, we'll we'll take that. Fuck yeah. Cool. Oh, we got a bloodied uh, switchblade. Well, we'll just equip that one and we'll just scrap this one. <laughs> Fuck yeah. Yeah, we'll take that. That's a better switchblade. Let's do that now, then. That's better. All right. And so now... Oh, it does 10% more damage when aiming down sights. Well, that's definitely good for that. Well, shit, maybe I should do that for the uh, gauze rifle, then. Huh. Nah, it's all right. We've already done it. Fuck it. Okay, so let's take a quick gander here. We're in good shape here. We set up Taffington Boathouse. They've got food. They've got water. That's really not that big of a deal. We have cleared... We've cleared the Lexington apartments here. Dealt with Mystic Pines. I guess the question is, what else do I want to do now? Um... All right, let's. I think let's go get let's go get Nick Valentine, right? Let's let's proceed with the main quest. Although what my concern is that we'll be in the middle of that, and then McCready will be like, "Oh, I need help," and want to do his fucking thing. And I'm like, "Motherfucker, we were all in this area, and you didn't mention it." I swear to God, he's gonna piss me off with that shit. Actually, you know what? Let's go to Good Neighbor. We'll go to Good Neighbor because what we'll do is we'll cash in the Daisy quest. And we'll do a bunch of stuff he likes in Good Neighbor, and we'll we'll just we'll just spawn it that way. It'll be all right. Okay, douchebag. Every weapon you see here could be the difference between life and death. <laughs> but boy, do I love Cleo here. Let's see what you've got. Murder and mayhem at a discount. All right. So now we don't need 38s. We don't need 45s. So we don't need 308s. So that is amazing. That being the case, we definitely need two millimeter. Yeah, that's going to be in our now bread and butter. Sniper weapon. Could buy fusion cores, but let's see what she's got for this. We'll definitely take the shipment of ballistic fiber. And we could buy the lead, but I think we'll buy a shipment of oil. Okay. And let's see. Yeah, let's just do... Actually, I don't even need to do that. Let's go over to here. Pre-war money. Perfect. That's beautiful. 
You're back. How'd it go at the library? Get rid of those super minions. I managed to fight my way through the library. Oh, and I dropped off that book of yours. <laughs> Only 200 years past due. I know it was an odd request, but thanks for making the library a safer place. We gotta keep some old building sacred, you know. Here's your money. There we go. Another quest done. All right. So McCready in particular likes this particular quest. We got this from Whitechapel Charlie. Assassination. We go in here, kill everybody. Simple. Yes. Hey, I never got a chance to properly thank you for helping me take out Winlock and Barnes. We're friends. No thanks necessary. Well, I wanted to say it anyway. He always picks the worst times to have a conversation. I don't forget sh I mean, things like that. You can curse all you want. I'm not your mother. Very funny. It's not about you. It's about a promise I made. When I left the Capital Wasteland, I didn't just leave little Lamplight behind. I left my family behind. I had a beautiful wife named Lucy. And a son we named Duncan. He's the one I made my promise to. I promised to clean up my act and to be a better person. I guess that sounds pretty stupid coming from a guy who shoots people for a living. You must have had a good reason to leave them behind. That's what I keep telling myself. My son, he's sick. I, I, I don't know what's wrong with him. One day he's playing out in the fields behind our farm. The next he took a fever and these blue boils popped up all over his body. Last I saw, he was almost too weak to walk. I didn't dare ask him to come with me. Honestly, I don't know how much longer he's going to last. Maybe there's nothing you can do but go home and let it run its course. There must be something we can do. I was hoping he'd say that. A few months before we met, I bumped into a guy named Sinclair who claimed his buddy caught some kind of disease. I thought he was wasting my time until he said his partner broke out in blue boils. They dug up information about a cure at a place called MedTech Research. They even managed to grab the building's lockdown security codes. Unfortunately, Sinclair's buddy died before they were able to break into the facility. I mean, there's no way that's a coincidence, right? MedTech has to be the place. Don't give up hope. If there's a cure, we'll find it. Thanks, partner. I'll put MedTech Research on your map. When you're ready, just take us out there. I have all the codes we need to get through their security. What you're doing. No one's ever cared that much about me before, even if it takes me the rest of my life. I'll repay this debt to you. I swear it. Okay. So that was, uh, that was an extremely good visit on my part. <laughs> we got that to, uh, to trigger there. So one of the things, all your companions like and dislike various things. So one of the things that McCready likes is for whatever reason, he likes it when you trespass and he likes it when you steal because he's a fucking douchebag. But besides the point, uh, that particular quest, every time you enter one of those areas, you're technically trespassing. And uh, then you can just help yourself to something there. Oh, sounds like we got to fight with some raiders over there, but yeah, that's their problem. We're going to head north. Uh, but anyway, yeah, so just going in there, he likes he liked the trespassing, and then he liked us uh, stealing the thing from the uh, toolbox. So it was perfect timing. Uh, you know what? Fuck it. Let's go into the old corner bookstore. Let's see what's in here. If we head up. We'll do a... We'll do at least a brief... Picking up that junk. Yeah, but normally I have to be really selective. But in this case, I don't. Because we're just going to grab a bunch of this shit and we're heading up to... Oh, racetrack advertisement. Oh, yeah. Easy City Downs. Cool. So if we didn't know about that... Oh, we didn't know about that already. All right. So, yeah, there's a, actually a racetrack a little north of here. It's kind of a neat location. I, mean, I was kind of hoping I would find something a little better than this, but oh well. We'll take the asbestos. We'll take the ceramic. I don't think there's anything of particular use in here. 
But it's an unmarked location, and sometimes these unmarked locations have some interesting salvage in them. We'll take a quick look anyway. Well, we'll take the first aid. Oh, we'll definitely take Nuka Cherry. Fucking sweet. I don't need to take burnt textbooks. It's just fucking weight. Yeah, that's useless. Ooh, desk fan. Perfect. Okay, now let's get the hell out of here. Now Cleo's a happy camper. She's in her bed, just taking a quick little nap. Was a good girl. <laughs> My cat is awesome. All right, so we uh. Oh, What's oh you gotta be fucking kidding me! Okay, I don't see anybody that way. Oh, there they are. Yep, that was the problem. The super mutants were going to drive us into that shit. I think I... I think I threw it too shallow. God damn super mutants again. Those fucking assholes. Hey, Nate, how are you? <laughs> God damn it. I cannot believe these douchebags. Let's try this again. There we go. That's a fucking headshot. All right. Okay, let's try this again. This time without the fucking oops. I threw it too shallow again. Okay, got it that time. There we go. Wow, I hit that guy in the head and he survived. Motherfucker. My god. Damn. Go. It's enough out of you. There we go. Ho 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 ho! His head fucking exploded that time. Fuck him up. Oh, that would be amazing. Yes. You're right. I need to do that one. Oh my god, that'd be awesome. <laughs> oh my god, that would be funny as shit, dude. Oh my god, yes. So much yes. That would be. Oh my god. All right, we'll take this. Yeah, that is funny. <laughs> take a frag grenade to replenish some of my losses there. Stupid ass super mutants. All right, so let's try this again. Well, that's now three deaths. I think at this point I should probably just stop counting. That bastard managed to land it in just the right spot, man. I mean, I saw the grenade ink icon, but I thought it was further away than that. I know there's a dude here. I just saw him. I saw his fucking helmet. Am I crazy? Maybe I'm crazy. Maybe I'm imagining things. I totally thought I saw a dude here with a helmet. Maybe not. Anyway. All right. Yeah, I'm not crazy. There is a dude there. We, we heard him, and now the icon is up above there. I know I saw it. And an assault rifle, too. <laughs> uh, well, enjoy. Thank you for the lurk. I appreciate it. Good times. Enjoy dinner. I'm just going to continue to roam the wasteland and try not to die with, you know, mixed results. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, I've totally gone the wrong way with all this whole thing. That's all right. I'll go around this way. Ooh, well, we'll take ammo. 
I'm actually starting to run low on ammo. Shit. We'll take gamma rounds. I'm trying to remember what I was even doing. Where am I going? I know I'm heading back north. Oh, right, I'm going to MedTech. That's right. But shit, part of me thinks I should go double back to uh, Gregor, uh, Good Neighbor, and buy some 10 millimeter ammo for Cleo. I mean, I'm not far from Good Neighbor. This would be the time to double back and just get some extra ammo. I don't like how short I am on ammo now. Oh, for fuck's sakes. Shit. Point of picking up that That's how we do things around here. Headshot. <laughs> Take some cover here. Damn, I don't know how I missed you there. Come on. Problem salt. <laughs> All right, we've already discovered this location. And I just have a bunch of stuff I don't want. That sucks. <sighs> yeah, I'm thinking I should go back. Good neighbor for ammo. Because I'm getting low. Oh. Geez, Seraph, why don't you just trigger everything and fucking... Take the 10 million rare off that fucker. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Okay. Well, that ended up being zero sum as far as ammo used. Yeah, fine. Let's head back. This time with a slightly different approach. <laughs> well, same route, but with a little less dying. Man, Diamond, the ruins of Do uh, Boston sure as hell are more noisy with that mod on. I'm going to have to go in there and configure that, tone it down a little bit. doesn't need to be constantly making all that kind of random noise. Even a girl. I'll take a look. Sure. Let's get you outfitted, killer. Like, I like it, but it's it's a little much. Yes, we need that for sure. <sighs> I want to keep the flares now. Uh, shotgun shells. Yeah, that works. Okay, we'll, we'll do that. We'll just exchange shotgun shells for 10 millimeter. Cool. That works for me. <laughs> Fucking raiders. Now yeah, we'll go this way. Since we've already cleared it. Yeah, what I need to start doing is going over that way instead. Just to avoid Haymarket Mall. And just go this route. Shit. 
Ooh, we finally have ourselves a uh, Beretta. Ended up having to pick it up off a gunner, but which makes sense. Makes sense that a gunner would have, you know, uh, kind of like an advanced weapon. Yeah, we'll have to give that a shot. Hell, might even give it a shot now. Slightly more damage than this. 55 versus 59. So that part's nice. Muzzled. Huh. Alright, that's pretty cool. Certainly do, uh... Certainly am liking that. I just have to put a uh, suppressor on it. Oh, shit. Okay, I wasn't expecting a Yagwai. Although we handled it with uh, reasonable dignity and grace there. <laughs> there was a brief moment of... Oh. <laughs> but, uh... There we go. We'll take this. There we are. Pick this lock. Then we just need to make our way up to MedTech for McCready's deal. And then what we'll do is then we'll, we'll find... Um, then we'll find Nick. You know what? We'll just grab all this crap because... Actually, you know what? Fucking torque bench. Let's go to this uh, Beretta. Muzzle brake. Ooh, we can. We can put a silenced weapon on that. We just need to go to a gun... Um, a workbench where we actually have enough... Uh, a little more adhesive, a little more plastic, and another screw. But yeah, we can. Ooh, we can. This will be cool. So I guess the question is which of these... Silencers do we want? The mini obsidian or the uh or the osprey? Ooh man, that's a good question. Alright, well we got we got questions. Uh we'll have to figure that out. We probably want the osprey. I think it's gonna look cooler. Sweet. Very, 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 very cool. Ah, this one will improve the range. Increased weight, increased AP cost. Gotcha. All right, so that reduces the AP cost. All right, well, it still got, has decent range. Yeah, I think I'd rather have the lightweight. Yeah, I need more alumina and adhesive for that. All right, well, but you know what? Man, we're that's going to be a fantastic weapon. I think we need to do that. Yeah, well, no quite. Okay, so save. Man, I'm glad we ran into those gunners now. Holy shit. That's awesome. Could have lived without running into the Yaogwai. <laughs> Definitely could have lived without going to the Yaogwai. Oh, we got more Pikmin stuff. Yeah, nothing there. Oh, look at that. Safety off. I think we have company. That's the end of that glowing one. No, I'm not going into all that radiated water for it. But, uh, <laughs> welcome back. All right. I don't know if I want to run across this bridge or not. I think I'd rather go across that bridge. Ooh, that's a great question. I don't know if I can make that that jump though. So no, let's just we'll just play it safe. We'll go this way. Yeah, I definitely need to. Uh... Oh, we've got another. This is, this is the you and what army mod again. We got Minutemen. <laughs> this is awesome. Man, this is so convenient that we could just come in here and pick up supplies or just go to sleep if we need to. That is a pretty neat mod. Just hearing his name makes me feel the pull of his blade again. Yep. <laughs> oh, yeah. We'll be... We will be doing that quest for sure.
Hell, I might even just buy a couple of supplies here and uh, try and do that. But you know what? Let's let's deal with McCready first. And then we'll upgrade that Beretta we just picked up and we'll be using that from now on. Because boy, that, that, that weapon is nice. I mean, shocker that a modded weapon would be nice, but... <laughs> there is... There is much art to be made. <laughs> now, what is that? Yeah, that's what I thought. I like money. <laughs> It is fucking art. <laughs> so uh, without getting too much into the details of that, I didn't have enough time today, but I did find a, um, a mod that improves the resolution of his literal art. And I'm like, oh, I've got to experiment with that. <laughs> oh, we got a storm rolling in. Is it a rad storm or just a normal storm? Oh my god, I'm gonna... There's County Crossing. Let's pick up the pace. So without getting into details, do you, uh, do you keep him alive or not, Darkstar? <laughs> Transfer all that in here. All right. Now then. Uh, yeah, we'll scrap that. Scrap that. Ooh, what was that? Come on. There we go. Scrap that. Get a little steel. <laughs> Man, I hate doing laundry. Hey, Freak Bot. Welcome. Welcome to the stream. Art must be made. Pain is art. <laughs> I am. I. I. I guess I under. I guess I know the answer then. <laughs> I love some of the the uh, speech that comes along with that quest. It's fucking great. But yeah, the weapon you get from there is uh is amazing. It's it's one of the best. It's the best weapon. In the vanilla game, uh, the best melee weapon in the vanilla game, anyway, in uh, in my humble opinion. Uh, you know what? Before I do anything, yeah, let's just put two. We'll just put two turrets here. For now, that'll do. All right, perfect. And save. Won't worry about the rest of this until a little bit. Let's just continue heading north. <laughs> Sacrifices must be made for art. <laughs> oh, man, this is fucking great. <laughs> ah, so this is the other road. So there are two roads. We're now going along the eastern road. This one tends to be a little more dangerous because we get a little closer to some other areas that I really don't want to be messing with right now. I don't want to be... I, I don't want to get too close to that at all. This is also the road that's going to lead us to Finch Farm eventually. Oh, fuck. Okay, we are not following that radio distress signal. Fuck that for right now. Okay, this part we got to be a little careful of because this tends to be a Mr. Gutsy. Yep, there he is. Okay, we got him before that turned bad. Yeah, Mr. Gutsy's could really fuck you up. Thankfully, we just kind of picked that up, like... Um... Picked him off at a pretty good distance. Sure, I'll take that fusion core. 
Yeah, there's really not a lot on that power armor. It's not worth taking. I'll just take the fusion core and be gone. Let's see, buddy, what do you have? Military grade circuit board? We will take that. Yeah, here's Finch Farm. For when we do out of the fire. Okay. Right about now, we should be around the right. Yep, perfect. <laughs> Man, that was perfect. Oh, right. There's a road that leads right to it. If I had just gone another couple of feet. In this part of the Commonwealth, I tend to have my weapon drawn. Just because you never know. Pretty sure we're not alone. Fucker. Like this. I was just saying. <laughs> speak of the devil. This is why I... Oh, God. Man, I got away from that just in time. Bastard. And it stung me. Asshole. Oh, maybe it was the other one that stung me. Hate these fucking things so much. Eat a dick. Fuck. Ugh. It's probably McCready that shot the car and made it explode. Most likely. All right. The road turns north. We don't need to go north. We don't need to follow that road. Oh, fuck's sakes. Fine. I actually wish the Radstags weren't so aggressive. So you could just leave them alone. But they do have some really good meat. I guess it's all right. All right, McCready. So this is one of the reasons why I wanted to kind of stick in this area. Because once he gave us the quest, this I knew this is where we'd be going. And then once we do this, we'll, uh, we'll just make a beeline for Nick. Because it's still going to take a little while for him to generate the last thing. Unless we just go... Oh, for fuck's sakes. More of these ghouls. All right, where's the next one? Cool. Nice when we just wait for them to come to us. Come on, where's the next one? There we go. All right. Fight smarter, not harder. No more of these assholes? Alright, good. Let's do this. <laughs> it is an awesome sound when you hear the thunder from outside. <laughs> oh, do I need it? Okay, there you go. Like, where are you, McCready? Alright, let's find that executive terminal. Sinclair said that's the only way we can override the facility's lockdown. I'm like, uh, was I supposed to talk to him outside? Maybe I was supposed to talk to him outside, but I didn't think so. Yes. And I don't want that. There's nothing else interesting in here. Okay. Vacuum cleaners for a reason, you know. Yeah, right. Now, if we're in here, let's uh, let's scavenge. All right. So let's go through this airlock terminal. Containment lockdown in effect. Access denied. All right. So we need to lock. We need to clear that, huh? Fair enough. Lovely, we're not alone. Of course there are ghouls in here. I like money. <laughs> we should hang out. Alright, what do we got here? Oh boy. 
All right, sure. That's time. Why not? Damn it, he's hurting my dog. Don't you dare hurt my dog. <laughs> it's funny. It's obviously a fake, you know, computer, you know, dog in a video game. And yet I'm like, oh, my dog. No, don't hurt my dog. <laughs> it's like, oh, my God, Seraph. Really, dude? <laughs> I'm just like, yes. So wonder glue, we'll take that. I don't think there's anything particularly valuable in here, but I just want to make sure I'm not missing anything. Like a magazine. So I think there is a mag... Oh, right, I remember where the magazine is in this place again. But yeah, let's just make sure there's nothing all that great. No, there's not. There we go. Pixelized, <laughs> pixelized cries of pain, right? <laughs> uh, ah, right, this is why we couldn't go up the whole way. We do. Ooh, industrial solvent. That's good stuff. All right, I need to find that uh, telephone retexture I had at one point. Because yeah, the telephone retexture is not, um, or the telephone default texture in this game is not great. It's a little low res. But I mean, I don't expect the designers of this game to be, you know, perf have a... Uh... Okay, that elevator is inaccessible. Yeah, it's a much better typewriter. <laughs> we'll take that. Hey, buddy. Yeah, another. Where is it? There we go. Got him. All right, McCready, we're here. Check the terminal on the desk over there. Sinclair's passcode better work. We're screwed. Okay. Yeah, now he gives you the password. So if you come in here before, you just can't get through this part. You need to have McCready here. Alright, so now we can use Jacob's password, we can access this thing. Yeah, you can't even hack this terminal. Alright, alert override. Let's turn it off. Thank God that worked. Let's find our way down to the sublevel. That's where MedTech should be storing the cure. So out of curiosity, is there anything else in here? Research report summaries, sales report. Yeah, just some other normal bullshit. Parting and lost. Test subjects. Test subject procurement costs up. System alerts. Yeah, pretty much the day of the bombs dropped. Nothing, nothing completely crazy. Nothing out of the ordinary in here that would be actually interesting. We just needed it for the uh, elevator activation. Now we can cruise over. Oh, uh, uh, elevator's inaccessible. Oh, right. We now, now we can go through the airlock. Come on. Taking the speedy route. Open airlock doors. Although thanks to Sinclair's terminal there, we now know that there are other test subjects, so we'll have to be careful. <laughs> 10 milliliter pistol by a security station. I don't remember if Turret control, yeah. Deactivate turrets, thank you. Security door control, open doors. And let's be ready.
<laughs> That's enough out of you, little motherfucker. Oh, that's a good one to do for as far as sound effect, uh, sound alerts. Although I don't know how many people would have seen that movie. Never could wrap my head around all this science stuff. Um, Boondock Saints. Wrong fucking alley. <laughs> Although I don't know how applicable it'd be most of the time, but I could, I just couldn't think. As soon as I went in there, I'm like, wrong fucking room for you. Come on. Definitely take the military. Yep, yeah, there it is. I was just about to say, I'm probably going to get into my max weight pretty soon. All right. Oh, damn, the dust is going right up my nose. Hey. All right, now I need you to grab a bunch of shit. McCready, open for business. All right, McCready, let's do this. Oh, yeah, I picked up two typewriters. That'll do it. That was 10 pounds right there. <laughs> Uh, let's see. What else we... Oh, yeah. We don't need that. We don't need that. I don't need that hunting rifle. I don't need the laser pistol. Or the gamma gun. I know better than to give him grenades. He'll use them. And most of the time... Yeah, if you give your companion grenades, they will use them and they're almost guaranteed to kill you. It's, uh... It's great. It's great. Not that I'm speaking from fucking experience or anything. Uh, all right, so now I'll be much more selective of what I'm grabbing. I say as I then proceed to grab just about everything in that fucking room. It's pretty funny. All right, that's... Find anything useful on him? Uh, the toothbrush, yes. Uh, bandage scissors will take. It's nice and light. Yeah, for the most part now, I'll be taking light stuff, but I'm not going to be taking anything super heavy. Like, if I find another typewriter, I'm not, uh, I'm not grabbing it. But we're still going to grab valuable salvage. Up we go. We deactivated the turrets, so we don't have to worry about that. Speaking of the physics engine. <laughs> Oh, boy. See, if we had walked around that way, we'd have to deal with that. Yeah, I'm not going anywhere near that. I mean, I'm sure there's going to be decent stuff in that toolbox, but it's not worth irradiating myself over. All right. Uh, the telephone's probably still worth it. The hot plate's probably worth it. Flask and the uh, tall flask car. The kitchen scale's not anymore. There we go. I'm feeling eyes on my back. Here, over here. So yeah, this part gets a little goofy because um yeah, they they detect us and McCready freaks out about it, but nobody can actually hit each other here. So it's a little frustrating trying to get them in the door while you got this shit going on. So we're just gonna hack these and open it. We'll take a dud out. All right, so... Sweet. Oh, never mind. Got it. <laughs> A little annoying that we have to do this just so that McCready isn't a fucking asshat. Really annoying about it, actually. Normally, you'd look at... If this were real, you'd look at that and be like, Fuck that, I'm not opening that shit. You just leave him alone. Thank you. Alright, that works for me. Okay, now he'll be normal. And we can walk into the fucking elevator. If not for that, he won't go anywhere near the elevator because he'll be freaking out about the ghouls. Come on. 
Brady, never mind. You know what? Fine. Fuck it. <laughs> Who needs you, man? <laughs> Found the clip. Cut down the audio to the line in question and sent you the MP3. Oh, nice. I assume on Discord. Yeah, I'll see it in a second. <laughs> oh, it's going to be fucking great. There we go. There's McCready. Smells horrible. I think we're the first ones down here in a long time. The sooner we find that cure, the sooner we can get the heck out of here. Hmm. So yeah, something bad happened around here. Nothing in that file cabinet. But we had to look. Had to look anyway. We'll take that light bulb. Or we'll take a melon. Walk. Ow. Thankfully, because of where I positioned myself, it could only, you know, glance at me. Really couldn't hit me all that hard, but still, very annoying. No shit, McCready. <laughs> no shit, McCready. Nice. All right, let's see what we got in here. So this is in this is an interesting security helmet to be here. Uh, well, we'll come back to that when we start doing other places. But just just keep this helmet in mind. I swear I heard something. Oh my god, McCready. Get out of the fucking way. <sighs> open the doors. Yep. Now we could open the activate the protectron and let the protectron start to deal with some of these assholes. But a lot of times the protectron. Of course I could have saved some. Ammo there. Pretty sure we're not alone. But that's alright. I'd rather deal with these assholes than have to deal with the stupid ass protectron shooting at you too. Okay. Well, you're not gonna need that stuff anymore. Nope. And now that these doors are open. We can go in this one that has the hole in the floor. Wow, 20%. <laughs> that is such a terrible legendary. Oh my god. What a complete piece of shit. Whatever. That's alright. They're not all winners. Have fun with this junk. I have no idea what any of it does. Yep. Well, there's something hidden over here, so we'll go find this. Go right over here. This guy died over here. We'll pick up two stint packs. Nothing crazy, but still pretty neat. Oh, right. We leveled up. Forgot about that. Let's go check out. What are we doing? Probably more ninja. Yeah, let's do ninja. Right. Head back up this way. Take the headlamp. Oh, was that? Oh yeah, we'll take mentats. Okay. Drinking glass. Let's see what's in this safe. I hear my cat just purring over in her cat nest. <laughs> she is so funny. Ooh, definitely take ammo. 
That was a great save. Oh my god. Yeah, we'll take the aluminum. Aluminum's eventually going to be good for when we um, start repairing power armor. It'll be really valuable for that. Yeah, we don't want that. Okay. Yeah, and thanks to the settlement system, you definitely have an incentive to pick up as much junk as possible. It has to be something worth a few caps in here. Yeah, sure, why not? Oh, we'll definitely take the cold watch. My god. And the shotguns. Through this mess. Go right ahead. Okay, now this part gets a little interesting. Uh, I hate moving. You're keeping me company packing. You're keeping me company packing stuff. <laughs> Alright, let's clear out all this other shit first, because there's going to be another ghoul over here. That should be everything now. Hand. Cute. Lovely. Sure. Baseball. Okay. That's everything in this area. Perfect. Okay, this part gets a little uh, dicey. Just a little bit. So... Explosives. Not what I was going for. You know what? Fine. Okay. <sighs> okay. Uh, this part sucks. Hey, let's go over here. McCready, over here. Trust me. Come here, buddy. Come here. Let's just wait for them. <laughs> there are the ghouls. I shot the one ghoul. Oh, they can't figure out I'm over here. There they go. Good. Nope, nope. Yep, there you go. I'm feeling high. There we go. <laughs> Blew its fucking legs off. <laughs> oh, that was awesome. Wow, they totally walked by the plasma mine. All right, well, that's all right. The important part was they uh, they did not get they did not get past the bottle cap mine. And the battle cap mine was enough to fucking uh, no idea what any of it does. uh disable them. Alright, so let's just get the uh wait, where's you wanna start glowing or something? Where is the uh prevent? Well, let's take the microscopes. Oh there it is, prevent. Hell yeah. There we go. I'm like where where is this and why is it not letting me take it? Now let's also get this magazine. There we go. Permanently inflict plus 2% limb damage. Okay, at this point we should be doing better. Right, is there anything else of value in here? Yeah, let's take the bones. <laughs> Fucking spine. Oh my god. Yeah, we'll take that shit. There's a use for it, I promise. Where the hell did McCready go? There we go. Hey. Yeah, what it Here you go, McCready. It. Holy crap, we actually did it. We just gave Duncan a fighting chance to live. I don't know how I'll ever be able to pay you back for this. I owe you big time. 
Hmm. Yeah, we'll go with this one. This is a friendship, not a business contract. Yeah, you're right. I'm just used to people taking rather than giving. Maybe one day I'll realize that you're different. Anyway, the last step ahead of us is getting the cure to Daisy and Good Neighbor. With her caravan contacts, she's the only one I trust to get this to Duncan on time. This is the last favor I'm going to ask. I promise. Let's go. So you laugh, Darkstar, but instead of um, bread, <laughs> uh, we will be grinding up the bones to make uh, synthetic oil. That's part of my plan to restore civilization. Because one of the first things you need to do is to figure out a, um, I mean, you just kind of need energy. Like even after our, I mean, granted, uh, we're in South Florida, but for anybody that, um, you know, has been around a natural disaster, the first thing you do is you get the post office running again. Um, and then one of the second things you do is you turn the lights back on. And so that'll be what we're doing in this game. We're going to, for this playthrough, we're going to get a, uh, and that's what I'm going to be doing at the castle. That's one of the reasons why I wanted to get the radio up and running first. Um, the next time I go to the castle, I'm actually going to, it's, it's an interesting kind of way. It's like a little makeshift thing, but, uh, but yeah, I'm going to basically make a little, um, spatula and yeah, we'll take that shit because we're just going to go right over to green top nurseries right there. Oh, really? You still only have three people there? You gotta be kidding me! Ugh. Do I just build a fucking robot? I could just build a fucking robot and have it do the be the provisioner there. Hmm. Oh well, whatever. Fine. We'll run down. We'll just drop all this shit off at uh, that place. That's one of the convenient parts about having a bunch of settlements and also tying them all together. Is once you do, once you finish a scavenging run, you just go to your nearest. Oops, shit! I ran too much. Um, you go to your nearest settlement that's tied into your uh, your caravan network. Drop off all that, drop off all that salvage, and you have uh, you now have all that stuff. If you ever want to build anything with it, or do anything with it. Oh come on, man. All right, we're back to the road. Uh, right, this is the road. Does seem to hiccup a lot, doesn't it? really a big fan of that. Although it does seem to do it a lot more when I run. But there are just certain areas of the game that are more vulnerable to that than others. Alright. Well, it's okay. We'll drop off all this shit here. Hey, McCready, where are you, buddy? Come on, take your sweet fucking time, McCready. Hey. What do you want? Ugh. <sighs> See what you got. Yeah, give me all your crap, dude. Ah, let me do all that. Perfect. All right, down we go. And unfortunately, there's nothing we really need to do with Doc Rivers. Don't really need to buy anything off him at the moment. If I get too close to that, we'll get irradiated. So I generally try and stay my distance from the very obviously damaged nuclear power station. <laughs> oh, what do we got here? Some asshole on the bridge. Hmm. Well, they're running away from the bridge, so I guess I don't have to worry about it. 
They're clearly not guarding the bridge or trying to fuck with me. That part's nice. Although whoever it was probably got themselves into trouble. Come on. Why there's a mercenary out here? Don't know. <laughs> that is very random. Move along. Huh. Sorry, don't have anything to sell. I'm on my way to Vault 81 to restock. Maybe you can find what you need there. Yeah, all right. Well, cool, man. <laughs> so if we didn't know about Vault 81, now we would know about it. Still neat random encounter. Down here we go. Compared to the one in downtown Washington, D.C., Yeah, that's right. McCready does know about, uh, you know, the Washington Monument. So, of course, he would mention something about the uh, the Bunker Hill Monument. But, yeah, the one in D.C. is obviously a lot bigger. The uh, Washington Monument was the uh, tallest building in the world until the... Um, oh, fuck. I got this asshole. Hey, buddy. Toll here's 250 caps. Come on. Do I look like I can... This is always fun. 200. Be reasonable. 150. Last chance. Give me a fair deal and no one gets hurt. 100. Is that the best you can do? Yes. Now pay already. I don't think so. It's your funeral. I'm gonna tear your fucking throat out. Now that's what I call a confirmed kill. I mean, he was clever. He literally ducked right... <laughs> I shot right over this Raider Psycho's head. <laughs> but yeah, I love getting some free XP to negotiate and then get the XP for killing him anyway. All right, so we want to go this way? Ish. Yeah, we're going to Good Neighbor here. Let's go to Good Neighbor. See if these assholes are out here. Problem is I haven't actually cleared Haymarket Mall, so the raiders are gonna show up here a lot. Pretty much they're just gonna show up, keep uh, staffing the guard, uh, the patrol until I actually deal with them. Man, the ruins are a fucking noisy shit, <laughs> a fucking noisy place, aren't they? So we'll go to Daisy here. Cash in this quest. Hell, we might even just wrap up uh, McCready here and walk the Freedom Trail. Hey, your buddy McCready's got a rep here in Good Neighbor. Bad attitude. Good aim. <laughs> hey, Daisy. McCready. I haven't seen you. This is funny as shit. <laughs> yeah. For various reasons. <laughs> How could I stay away from someone as cute as you, Daisy? Uh, you're a lousy liar. But I'll just play stupid and pretend I don't know that. So, what do you need? I got it, Daisy. I found the cure to Duncan's disease. Oh my god. That's wonderful news. How'd you do it? Last time you tried, the pharaohs almost chewed you to bits. I didn't do it alone. The friend here got me through medtech. Now, all I need to do is get the cure into Duncan's hands. Can you help me? Of course, McCready. You saved my behind more than once. It's the least I can do. It's okay. You can trust me. I swear I'll get the cure to Duncan. Circling back around, what did McCready do to help you out? Running a business in a town like Good Neighbor is a challenge. Let's just say I've had my share of unfriendly customers, and McCready's been there to help me handle the situation. If McCready trusts you, then that's good enough for me. I appreciate that. He's actually not so bad. Once you get to know him. I'll get the <laughs> sample on the first caravan leaving the Commonwealth. The driver owes me a few favors. 
And he's reliable. It will arrive at your homestead in no time, McCready. Thanks. You're a doll. Hey, do me a favor. Take care of McCready for me. He's one of the good ones. All right, so we took care of the long road ahead. Huh? Don't have no handouts. Where did that other drifter go? Yes. Ah, he's working on uh, <laughs> the workbench. What's up? Hey. What a day, huh? Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah, that shit's funny. <laughs> no, she's a piece of leather. Hey, Kara, what's going on, buddy? <laughs> Yeah, that's that's a ghoul for you. Pretty old like that. Oh man. Okay, that looked like it hurt. We'll do this. How's your uh, Saturday going? Not much, man. Getting ready to head out to the gig. Ah, nice. We'll enjoy. Wow, I'm surprised that guy didn't die. <laughs> yeah, we're doing a fairly long stream. I was just going to fuck around with this. I've uh, I've been productive for the most part this week. Um, so yeah, I've been... Uh, I'm just kind of like fucking around today. Ooh, we definitely like the 10 millimeter ammo. I? See, I'm pretty much just going to be playing until uh, till I just kind of get tired. So we'll see. Yeah, I don't really have any specific stopping point. Oh, fuck. That was dumb. <laughs> Fucking around and finding out. Nice. Yep. Oh, I'll find you. No, you won't. I'm literally right on the other side of this door, buddy. All I had to do was wait for him. <laughs> that was perfect. <laughs> oh, that was awesome. Hey, <laughs> need something? That was great. I think we need to talk. <laughs> oh my god. So, what's <laughs> been nagging at me for a while. I've been waiting for the right moment to talk to you, and I suppose this is as good a time as any. <laughs> After helping me get Duncan's cure for med tech, I figured I owe you something. And I always pay my debts. Here. I wanted you to have this. I am so glad I added that sound alert. Oh my god, I knew we would have I, I knew we would have a good time with that one. <laughs> I know a carved toy soldier is a strange reward for risking your life, but this one's special. It means a lot to me. If it's special to you, then it's a thoughtful gift. Thank you. You're welcome. Just be sure you don't lose it. My wife Lucy gave this to me right after we met. I, uh, I told her I was a soldier, and she made it for me. Never could bring myself to tell her the truth. That I was just a hired killer. And the soldier story was the best thing I could come up with. I didn't want to lose her because of what I was. Hey, I'm sure you had good intentions. I had a feeling you'd get where I was coming from. It doesn't really matter anymore. She died a few years back. We made the mistake of holding up in a metro station one night. We didn't know that the place was infested with ferals. They were on her before I could even fire a shot. Ripped her apart right in front of me. There was nothing I could do. I took everything I had to escape with Duncan in my arms. Maybe it would have been better if we died there with her. I appreciate you handling the shoutouts, Kara. I do appreciate that. Yeah, a big shoutouts to, uh, to uh, One-Eyed Freakbot, Kara Jitsu, Ghosty. <laughs> That's right. Shameless promo time. <laughs> but no, I do appreciate it. You guys are awesome streamers. Uh, yeah, I was actually on with uh, I Am Sal earlier and uh, raided out to um, 
oh goodness, it was the first time I got exposed to it. They were playing Starfield. Uh, he's a cool streamer too. And of course I'm blanking on the name now, but, um, yep. And Phoenix Nade was actually, uh, he, he was streaming for like all of 10 minutes, uh, seeing if he could get his uh, Twitch thing to work again. <laughs> but yeah, you, know, you guys are awesome. I appreciate you all. You may have lost your life, <laughs> but you saved your son. That counts for something. Maybe. I don't know anymore. Damn, I miss Lucy. No matter how bad things got, she was always there with a shoulder to lean on. It gave me... Well, it, it gave me the courage I needed to press ahead. To never give up. When she died, I thought that feeling was gone forever. Then I met you. You have the world's problems in your back, and here you are helping me with mine. Have a good one, Kara. Enjoy your gig. Hope it goes well. Lending me your shoulder like Lucy did. I just want you to know how much your friendship means to me. So this is one of those things that's a little weird, right? Like, he tells you about Lucy and all that, and now you have the opportunity to romance him. Like, that's got to be the most awkward conversation ever. Like, oh, thank you for telling me about the wife that died in your arms. You should be mine. Like, it's just, it's, it's very bizarre. <laughs> it's just very, very... Very bizarre. I think it would have been better to know about Lucy beforehand, be journeying with him for a while, and then be like, okay, yeah, I didn't think I'd feel that again. You know, but to, yeah, it's like, no. <laughs> hey, only best friends can share feelings like that with each other. And I aim to keep it that way. Anyway. Right. Thanks for hearing me out. Taking all that weight off my shoulders makes the journey a little easier, if you know what I mean. Speaking of which, it's about time we got back on the road, don't you think? Right? It's like, sorry that happened to you. Wanna, like, it's just... It, <laughs> it's just so weird. But yeah, his kill shot perk is awesome. So now headshots and vats have a much uh, more likely chance to succeed. Which uh, is awesome. Yeah, he does... Uh, oh my god, this fucking... <laughs> this fucking mannequin show here. <laughs> Yeah, that stuff's very, very awkward. Anyway, so let's get out of here. We've uh, killed all these fuckers. So since we're here... Oh yeah, well, fine. We'll take the gas canister. Because we do like gas canisters. Yeah, just very, very odd. Very, very, very odd. <laughs> uh, Alright, so... But yeah, let's let's just wrap this up. We are hidden. Good. Yeah, I don't need good neighbor. Uh, good neighbor security giving me grief here. That's it. Okay, good. We're just gonna go in here, take care of anybody else that might still be here. <laughs> Quite literally blew that fucker's head off. <laughs> oh, it was great. Well. Alright, the rest of these guys are upstairs. Perfect timing. Thank you, Dark Star. <laughs> oh, it was awesome. See anybody here? Okay. Where'd oh. he go? Which one of you lost him, huh? Yeah, that was McCready. <laughs> Wasn't sure. Wasn't sure if that was McCready or one of the trigger men there. Perfect timing there. Brady Cat. Too scared. Take the gold watch. At first, I'm like, is that a mannequin or a trigger man? I couldn't tell at first until he moved. I'm like, oh, trigger man. <laughs> uh, nice. All right. More mannequins. More creepy fucking mannequins. Sure, we'll take the ammunition. Cared about it, they wouldn't have left it laying around. <laughs> Down we go. 
And we just got one more area of idiots to clean out. How the hell did you get down here before me, McCready? <laughs> I'm trying to remember what the original video of that was. It was like 2003, 2004 or something. Those guys were so ahead of their time. Um, making kind of goofy content. I mean, the whole thing uh, is kind of the lead up. Talking about how much he loves FPSs. Uh, every time he gets one, screams like, boom, headshot. <laughs> then gets killed and like, rage quits to set up to like finish off the whole joke. It's great. <laughs> it's actually a boom headshot song, too. It's hilarious. <laughs> you know, one of these days I should open the uh, open the stream with that fucking song. Ow. Whoops, whoops. Whoops, whoops, whoops. Let's not do that. Man. Take care of you. <laughs> must be, uh... Must be sunrise. <laughs> That's awesome. Take the 44 rounds. We'll head up this way. I'll be up here somewhere. Kidney shot. We'll take the fuse. And then we return to Whitechapel Charlie. Ooh, I'll definitely take that nuke mine. Hell yeah, we will. Fuck yeah, that shit's awesome. <laughs> Woohoo, nuke mine. All right, and then we cruise down. And then we get our money. Money, 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 money! You're looking to stock up on general equipment. You can hit Daisy's discounts. <laughs> we still got a couple of more good neighbor uh, things to do. Uh, we have to hit up uh, a Lucigen at some point. Get the uh, Charlie. other um, Some drinking buddy. Cleaned out the rats in the old warehouses. Wouldn't know anything about that, would you? Just doing my job. Always appreciate <laughs> doing business with a professional. There we go. We just picked up 400 caps. Nice chunk of XP. Alright, so let's take some rat away. And now we'll go get uh we'll go get Deacon. We'll do the intro quest, and then we'll go grab Nick. Life will be good. Man, I got a ton of rat away, Jesus Christ. I need to start selling that too. Hell, I might just go to Daisy and sell a bunch of this shit. You know what? Actually, that's probably not a bad idea. What, you dry? Hi. Over to the third What's rail. up? <laughs> I've got a weapon here for every situation. Hunting, Let's see what we can do. Yeah, I'm still short on Hunting, aluminum, protection. oil, and screws. So, fuck. Oh, well. That's fine. Uh, gonna pass. Not looking to buy right now. Jeez. <laughs> you know, I've never actually done that. That's fucking hilarious. Daisy. Means a lot to me that you made the library. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shush. Let's see what you got. Have cash or trade. Let's get started. All right. Let's let's do some let's do some business here. Let's see. I've got a crap ton of ammo that I am no longer going to need. I only have three o thirteen three o eight, and I only have that. But I've got. Ton of pre-warm. Well, I've only got that money. Girl, sell the folders that I meant, didn't mean to pick up. Uh, yeah, let's sell that. Let's sell that. I don't need that. 
I don't need 38s. All right, so let's just see what you've got. What can you give me for that? 10 millimeter rounds, we'll take 10 millimeter. I'll take 44. You know what, that works. Just exchange some of that shit. Okay. What a day, huh? Yeah, random drifter. What a day. <laughs> hey, we'll go walk this freedom trail. And we'll pick up our next companion. I fucking love this game, man. <laughs> oh, wow. The sky is looking beautiful right now. At what time is Ah, it's sunset. <laughs> That's good shit. Oh. Yep, you guys just keep duking it out. Sounds like a plan to me. <laughs> so ultimately, this is where we need to go for Nick. But... No sense in going grabbing him until... Uh, Seven and A. Some sort of code. So we'll start the Freedom Trail. At journey's end, follow Freedom's Lantern. Welcome, Patriot, to Boston. <laughs> the start of uh, yeah, we've killed a Death Claw. Or two. We've killed at least one. Your ears and learn more about the historic Freedom Trail. And learn the history of Boston Common. Tell me about the Freedom Trail. Starting here at Boston Common, follow the red path as it winds its way through our great city's streets. Markers on the trail are placed at many famous historic sites. See Paul Revere's house, the old North Church, the old State House, Bunker Hill, and many more. Here we go. So now we just follow this. And for anybody who ever visits Boston, I highly recommend following the actual Freedom Trail. This is very similar to what it's actually like. I uh, loved how New Vegas had the super enemies. Yeah. Yeah, New Vegas is a good game. I... My main issue with New Vegas is that compared to 3 and 4, it just... It always felt clunky. But, um, right, here's the Massachusetts State House. Um, four and L. And for me, definitely a code. <laughs> and for me, uh, even, even a fantastic game, if the controls are a little squirrely, that could be why are these guys? Well, they're just hanging out there, so we'll let them be. Um, so yeah, that's really the only reason I haven't finished New Vegas, is every time I try to play it, I get just get really funk uh really frustrated with the jankiness uh of it but one of these days i gotta go back to new vegas and actually beat that game two and a actually one-eyed freakbot is playing new vegas uh right now he's having a good time with it uh all right so there it goes into the into the rubble here Okay, it's obviously not over there, so it probably still passed all this shit. So we're just going to continue going. So some at some points, the Freedom Trail gets hard to notice, but then you see it resume right here. So it crosses the street at some point, and now it's here. So sometimes you have to be a little careful. Fucking super mutants. I already passed, buddy. Now a six. I don't know. <laughs> Back up here we go. And thankfully, somebody painted over uh, some of the segments that are harder to see. Uh, I liked Outer Worlds. It was it was nice. I liked that game. I played that pretty early when it came out. I have not played the DLC. 3i. I had, uh, I had finished playing it when that came out. Um, 
It took a little while for the DLC for that to come out. One of these days, I'd like to go back and actually play that. The DLC of it. The only issue I had with Outer Wilds was it was very, um, was very repetitive. But, um, they definitely made player choice a priority. Like, there are even parts of that game where you could go wildly, and I mean wildly, off script. Uh, like, there's this one, um, it would be like going into Diamond City, right? If, uh, if Diamond City was absolutely required for, uh, the plot, and if you just started killing everybody, the, uh, the ship goes into, uh, basically, Captain is a maniac, uh, uh, protocol and gives you an option to still go to the end of the game and, like, skip half the game. It's, it's really funny. But, like, it does allow you to, um, to basically beat that game or play it any way you want and have it be at least possible from a mechanic standpoint to beat it. Although it's, it becomes really hard because if you skip that much of the game, you're really underleveled. I don't know how it would be possible, but the game accounts for that. So I mean, if you're if you're really good, there it is. Oh, ho, ho! there was a beautiful headshot on the fucking suicider. Oh my god! <laughs> Holy shit! That was like a sniping job. Safety off. Yeah, we hit him at that distance. There we go. Got you. All right, we're going to go get our mini nuke. Holy shit, I can't believe I hit that fucker at that distance. All right. Anyway, deal with Fenuel Hall, which is always a fucking super mutant uh, den. Okay. Oh, we'll take that. 5R. Yeah, sure. We'll take a frag grenade. Uh, all right, we're okay. It's going this way. Okay. Let's go in here. Huh? Wonder what I set my grenade to. Or maybe I just turned the grenade off entirely. So it really should have been. Oh, I had it on the bottle cap mine, and then I used it. That's why. So, but yeah, TLDR. I did. I did like Outer Worlds. That was a very solid game. I haven't replayed it necessarily, but um, I played the shit out of that. I I, uh, I played a pretty complete playthrough of that. I do generally tend to enjoy space opera type games. It was really neat to have a uh, you know a starship and all that, and be able to go to different planets and whatnot. I mean, granted, just by the nature of it, there are only so many planets that you can go to in that game. All right. Uh, Granted, I, I know where I'm going, but I want to be faithful to this whole thing. So let's go... Oh, shit. Dog meat found an enemy. What did you find? Well, let's not mess with that, buddy. All right, so let's cruise over here. Okay, good. Here's the paint. So let's go this way. Okay, good. We found it again. I think we can go down this way. Yep, we can go in this subway station. Uh, you know, let's just do this detour. Because I'm not going to remember. Um... I would agree with that. I, I thought it was better than Starfield. Now, granted, I did not buy Starfield. So here's one of the cooler images. You get this, uh, this dude with, uh, <laughs> it's almost like we're going to come up with our own subway station with blackjack and hookers. <laughs> uh, armor and gun selection was very limited. Yes, it was. Um, Start collecting antiques. But we'll take the pre-war money. We'll definitely take that lunchbox. Take the magnet. I don't think there's really anything valuable in here, but clearly some fucked up shit happened in here in the years between um, now and when the Great War happened. But it's an unmarked location. It's easy to miss. I figured, you know what? It's right off the Freedom Trail. It's not going to be that much of a detour. Um, Starfield? Yeah, I haven't played Starfield yet. I've watched people play Starfield. Um, actually, um... Commodore, Commodore Chuck, 
I finally remembered the person's name who I was watching uh, his stream uh, before I came in and started. Uh, I am Sal rated out to I, uh, Commodore Chuck. And Ch uh, Commodore Chuck was playing Starfield. Apparently they did a couple of updates with some quality of life fixes. And he was enjoying it. Okay, good. Nobody there. 18 next. But yeah, I thought Outer Wilds was a better game. Uh, for sure, no doubt. For me, anyway. Oops, I probably didn't want to take that, but yeah, we're here now. <laughs> um, but I like the companions in Outer Wilds. Uh, there were some really cool characters. I liked their personalities. Uh, it was it was a very solid game. I liked it. I think the internet may have gone a little overboard oh. with it, but the trail ends right at the church. Like I would call it a uh, seven out of ten. I enjoyed it. I haven't played it since for what that's worth. Although at some point, I think I will play it again. I just haven't done it yet. But at some point, I think I will. Yeah, we got cools. Of course, I got my flashlight on. So yeah, we got ourselves a uh, abandoned church here. Except for some feral ghouls. I wonder how many people came here seeking absolution when the bomb started falling. <laughs> Does make you wonder, actually. Okay. Go upstairs. Just check and make sure there's nothing interesting in here. Because why not? I think there's another ghoul around here that I didn't quite get. I thought the strength of the Outer Wilds was its riding, though. Uh, I feel like Starfield will get better with mods. Yeah, I agree with that. I totally agree with that. I think Starfield is going to be saved by its mods, by its modding community. Because there's a solid game in there. Um... Again, I don't know why, and it's it's a similar problem as to 76, right? It's not as, as severe as 76, but for some reason, Bethesda really seems to want to, at least from my view, uh, lean more towards um, being away from NPCs and, and all that. And they do such a good job of world building, so it's kind of an odd choice. Tunnel snakes rule! <laughs> Sorry. I heard that a long time ago. <laughs> That is such a great callback from three. <laughs> We're the tunnel snakes and we rule. <laughs> oh, man. Fucking tunnel snakes. Oh, my God. <laughs> uh, but yeah, like they originally didn't even want to do NPCs in 76 for some reason. Um, and then for Starfield, they build this beautiful... Um, you know, shipbuilding enterprise uh, system. Um, come up with some really interesting factions, some lore, and uh, all right, so here we are. You know, Robert O'Fanley, 1808, and here we are. We're at the end of the road here. So uh, now one of the, so obviously one of the one immersion breaking things is that the puzzle really wouldn't be this easy, but, uh, but they wanted the puzzle you could see the, from a game standpoint design, you want the puzzle to be something that a player is actually going to solve and not get frustrated by. So we, we take a little bit of suspension of disbelief that this puzzle is really this easy for a very secretive organization. Uh, but yeah, it's like they want you to create your, your own adventure, um, which is which is fine, but the design choice at a leadership's uh, phase at some point really decided that they wanted it to be a very procedural, almost AI-generated dungeon type of thing. So you don't have a human being really weaving stories with NPCs through some of those areas. It's just, it's procedurally generated. Now, the nice part about that is nothing will ever be the same. And so if you're exploring, that really does open up a lot of possibilities. But one of the strengths of Bethesda games, in my opinion, is the writing and the world building and weaving a really excellent story so i'm it's almost like they don't know that that's a strength and they 
actively try to not play to it. But if if only Bethesda asked me, I would be like, this is a strength of yours. You should be leaning into it, not away from it. Um, I'm not sure why they do that. Um, I'm, I'm really not. And you still see it in there. It's almost like some of the writers and the programmers subvert the uh, Bethesda's leadership and still do it anyway. That's why when you go to terminals and find hollow tapes, you can, you know, end up discovering a lot of really in interesting, rich stories by exploring. But you have to kind of go out there and explore it. But it's there to find. And it's like, oh, my God. And we're talking about the vanilla game, not even modded, right? Um, I really should install the update and test my that my mod still works. Or at least check Nexus mods to see if anyone has posted that it broke. Yeah, I find that the, the Nexus mod uh, forums are really helpful uh, for that. But, yeah, I see a, there, there's a really active Starfield modding community. But I think... I think I will like Starfield a lot, but I'm going to give that game a good year, maybe year and a half uh, before I start playing that. And I'm sure, much like 4, I'm going to lean into it with mods. So when I first played this game, I played it on PS4. Um, and so we're going to... But nothing really happens there, so but... So that's not right. <laughs> huh. It spins... Oh, so it starts with R. go haven't touched in almost four months maybe five yeah all right so let's save here this gets interesting I'll holster my weapon also Stop right there. <laughs> we went through a lot of effort to arrange this meeting but before we go any further answer my questions who the hell Why don't you tell me who you are first? In a world full of suspicion, treachery, and hunters, we're the synth's only friends. We're the railroad. So answer my question. <laughs> I followed the Freedom Trail looking for the railroad. I'm not your enemy. If that's true, you have nothing to fear. Who told you how to contact us? I helped Carl out of a jam. He knows a guy who knows a guy, and they hooked me up with the lead. We'll look into that. I'm just <laughs> and I'm the leader of the railroad. And you are? Deacon, where have you been? You're having a party. What gives with my invitation? I need intel. Who is this? Wow. Newsflash, boss. This lady is kind of a big deal out there. So this part's pretty cool. So obviously... You know, now we know why I was laughing earlier. We literally just saw this dude. He was the drifter at Good Neighbor. And if you're perceptive, he's also at Diamond City. Sometimes he's at campsites as you're walking by. He's basically been like scouting you out from like the get go. <laughs> and this text can change wildly depending on what part of the game uh, you're at when you come here. Glad someone noticed. You know, you're practically famous. You're the leader of the Minutemen. I hear you cleared out the castle. Everyone's talking about that. So you're vouching for her? Yes. Trust me. She's someone we want on our side. That changes things. So, stranger, why did you want to meet with us anyway? My son, Sean, was kidnapped. I'm looking for help to find him. Someone stole your boy? That's terrible. Do you know who did it? For your sake, I hope the Institute isn't involved. <laughs> I don't know who took him. I just want help getting him back. For your sake, I hope the Institute is not involved. I'll have Deacon look into this. If anyone can find a lead on your boy, he can. 
If we're going to be dealing with you, I need to make sure we're on the same page. You know what a synth is, right? <laughs> and of course, depending on where you are, you may not know. And if you prompt her, you'd be like, what the hell is a synth? Now, granted, we've encountered a few. Most of the time, I would say we've encountered three uh, batches of Institute synths. And when we've spotted them, they've opened fire on us uh, from the start. Uh, but we have dealt with... Uh, oh, and we also uh, encountered a bunch at Arcjet Systems when they were attacking waves upon waves of them were attacking Dance. So we, we have got an idea of them. Um, but as far as we know, and we've heard about ones that can be like body snatchers, but we haven't, I don't think we know we've encountered any of them or we haven't encountered any of them yet. There's, there's still a little unclear up as of this point. I've heard rumors. What are they really? The Institute created them. Synthetic humans. They're mostly organic. Part machine. Somewhere along the line, they became more than just constructs. They think, they feel, and they act just like you and me. The Institute treats synths as property, as tools. That sounds like slavery. Exactly. So we seek to free the synths from their bondage. Give them a chance at a real life. I have a question. The only question that matters. Would you risk your life for your fellow man? Even if that man is a synth? And at this point, I'll just tell her what she wants to hear. I risk my life for people every day. Makes it's not no like she has a lie detector. If it's a human or a synth. Well said. We'll do what we can to look into your missing boy. <laughs> What the Institute has done to your family and others is what drives us. Normally, you're exactly the type of person we try and recruit. But right now, we don't have the time to train up a new agent. There are, however, other valuable ways you can contribute. And in turn, we can help you. See Deacon for details. You're free to go. <laughs> oh boy. <clears throat> You didn't see anything suspicious coming in, right? Hey there. Saw some of you work along the trail. Not bad. For a human, that is. For a human? What do you mean? You're born in the wild human model 1.0. You ain't bad for that model. Not in the same league as us since, but hey, not your fault. Wait, you're a synth? In the artificial flesh. And before you start with all the questions, the only thing I'll say about it is this. All those rumors out there are bullshit. I'm as real a girl as you'll ever meet. The only difference is, I bet your assembly instructions were a hell of a lot more fun. <laughs> all true. Time, we're still recovering from something I can't get into. We're a man down, though. And if anything Deacon said about you is true, I'd like you on our team. Wait, you don't believe Deacon? <laughs> I'm interested. Awesome. I think you'll be a good fit. I know Dez said we don't got room, but talk to Deacon. I'm sure he's got an angle. He always does. Hi. Hope you didn't mind the reception. When you tango with the Institute, you gotta be careful when someone new gets on the dance floor. Your leader was just being cautious. You call that cautious? She's lucky she didn't start a full-on firefight. Exactly. <laughs> kind of killed our chance at a friendly first impression, though. But it's all good now. I vouched for you. Nobody got shot. Still, I would consider it a close personal favor if you didn't sell us out to the Institute. Thanks. <laughs> so tell me, why did you vouch for me? In our little outfit, it's my job to know things. And with everything you've done, it's clear you're capable. A dangerous enemy. And I'm betting a valuable ally. But why the trust? You can't be taking it all on faith. I don't know if we can trust you, but I hope we can. We just survived a hell of a crisis, so we may just be a teeny weeny bit desperate for new members. <laughs> if everything was sunshine and bottle caps, we'd probably play a longer getting to know you game. But we don't have that luxury. Really? Is that all? You just don't give up. All right. 
I have a short list of people I think would be a good fit for our family. You piqued my interest, so maybe I asked around, did my homework. If you hadn't found us, there's a chance I would have found you instead. Thanks for saving me the trip. So Des wants me to make you a tourist. That's what we call someone who helps out with the odd job here and there. What a waste. I'm just gonna come out and say this. The railroad needs you. You got my attention. I got a job. Too big for me, just perfect for the two of us. You help me out, we turn a few heads, and then Des invites you into the fold. Then, if you get into a bind and need some help, your buddies in the railroad got your back. What's the job? So, up front, the only thing I'll say is that it's gonna be a wild and dangerous ride, but probably nothing new for someone like you. Sign me up, then. Perfecto. Let's meet up at the old freeway outside of Lexington. I'll fill you in once you get there. Alright, and then we just... We're just gonna meet up with Deacon here. Let's head out. Uh, sure. Yeah, we'll take the screwdriver. Yeah, yeah, McCready. Complain about it, why don't you? <laughs> uh, you know what? Yeah, we'll take that, too. We're gonna stop... We're definitely going to be... No, I missed that the first time around. Probably because I was shooting at a ghoul. Because I'm sure we're going to encounter a settlement on our way over there. Hell, I might even just fast travel to a settlement. Because um, down by Lexington, you know what I'll do? I'll probably just warp to Starlight Drive-In and we'll just walk down there the rest of the way. I mean, I could warp much closer, but uh, that's not necessary. Let's see. Yeah, let's do that. Let's do that. Yeah, let's fast travel. And then we'll level up. We'll drop off what we got. We'll build an artillery gun here. If I didn't already... No, I already uh, built an artillery gun here, didn't I? Yeah, I did. Shit. Yeah, that's fine. Fuck it. Come on. I must have a couple of mods interacting that uh, causes that fucking lag. A little annoying. Let's see. How do I want to do this? Oh, right. I did want to modify the fucking Beretta. Shiznit. All right. You know what? We'll just... You know what? It's it's okay. Let's cruise up and Yeah, all right, fine. We already came most of the way. Let's just go up the rest of the way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll go to sanctuary where the weapon where the damn um weapon workbench is. At least we made it most of the way. Don't have to waste all that time running across the entire Commonwealth. Yeah, they still flicker a little bit depending on the light. Depending on the light, that's a little annoying. Not crazy, but a little annoying. But up we go! Up we go! Up we go! Yeah, come on, buddy. Thank you. Definitely glad I installed this on the... Uh, switched out the physical hard drive for an SSD. I got to imagine this would really be chugging along if I had kept this on a not SSD. <laughs> oh, boy. We'd really be struggling. But this will be cool. Um, we'll we'll get our weapons taken care of. We'll go get Deacon. We'll do that mission. We'll just do that mission with McCready. Fuck it at this point. Mm.
Yeah, yeah. My poor, my poor endurance. <laughs> and unfortunately, the endurance bobblehead is not really all that easy to go get. So it's going to take a little while to get there to actually start boosting my endurance. It's just not part of the build here yet. Charisma first, agility second. This is okay. We're almost there. Let's pick up the pace. Up here, actually. Hey, Mama Murphy. Hey, we're gonna need a heavy hitter for the site to keep working, kid. Buff out ought to do it. Here, go easy. Wow. Forgot how strong that stuff is. <laughs> okay. Here it comes. I see you, the mighty hunter. Only what you're hunting ain't an animal. Or this is a man. cool. Something different. Maybe something more than human. But what's this? I see a man in a white outfit standing over your prey. And he says something. It's hard to make out, but I'm trying, kid. He says Z247, initialize factory reset, authorization code Zeta 53 Kilo. And then he falls, and he's still. Oh, God. <gasps> Sorry, kid. Old Ticker just lurched there a few times. I'm fine, really. Just need to stay still. That would have been a, an amazing mod to troll people. <laughs> that would have been fucking amazing. All right, so we... Let's take a look. Deathclaw meat. Let's toss all this shit. Purified water is not necessary, but we are going to take that purified water. Uh, yeah, it's fine. So... Put all that in there? Okay. Hey, Carla. Yeah. Hey, Carla. Hey there. Trading? I uh, appreciate the lurk, Freakbot. We'll see you when you get back. Ah, Greek food time. I've got a few minutes to browse. I got a little bit of everything. Okay, so as per usual, we're going to sell, we're just going to sell most of our medics. We're going to sell most of our psycho jet. We'll sell most of our buff tats. At this point, yeah, we'll sell, we'll sell all the buff jet. We don't need the buff jet. Uh, we'll keep all that. I'll sell that amount of rad away. Let's take a look. I don't need that much rad X. Sell that. Perfect. Okay. Uh, well, yeah, I mean, 5XL, sure, why not? Okay, so now, let's cruise over here. We'll buy concrete, shipment of copper, crystal, hell yeah. Shipment of oil. Perfect. Let's see what else we got. Oh, shotgun shells. Sure, we'll make money. <laughs> and we just got a crap ton of supplies by selling all those extra chems we had and all that purified water. So now we're starting, you're starting to kind of see the economics of building the water purification plant in this whole uh, idea. We're at least, granted, we don't have the ability to manufacture our oil yet, but now we've got an ability to at least buy oil which is really helpful. So at this point, we could probably start to electrify Sanctuary and turn the lights back up, at least here. And we'll start doing the same in some other of the, uh, in some of the other settlements as well. Hey, McCready, what do you got? Hope this helps. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fine. Ugh. Your thoughts? Come on, let's go kick some doors down. Time's wasting. Yeah, yeah, that was all. Didn't have anything else. All right. 
Heads up. Well? Yes, now I'll take that. Yeah, I'll take these now. Okay. Let's take a look. Let's see what we got. We'll liquidate that down. Plus three to all stats when you're at 25% or less health. So there's a, <laughs> there are some exploits that play upon that. So unyielding is a DLC uh, item. Uh, so yeah, unyielding, you could definitely abuse the unyielding uh, for certain various things. But uh, yeah, we're not going to be messing with that. Uh, we'll just, we'll just scrap that. Uh, let's see. Let's just take the fortifying. Yeah, that's fine. We'll scrap that. Okay, so I guess the question is... Well, I've got this stuff now, so... Do I want the minus vax 10 strength and endurance, poison resistance? Yeah, we'll go in here and we'll take... Instead of acrobats, we'll take fortifying. All right, that'll help with our running abil our ability to run and everything else. Good. What was the... Oh, I already scrapped it. Perfect. Good, good, good. Okay. So now we can cruise over here. Go to our weapons workbench. Okay, now let's go to the advanced receiver. Boom. Put that on there. We'll keep that, but we'll go to the extended quick. Since we talk, I'm feeling swell. Let's see. That scope, honestly, is pretty decent. I don't see any real difference. Oh, well, maybe I should go with one of these. The accuracy is a little bit better, but I really don't see all that much of a difference. Thank you. Standard. Like Why are these standard? Three. Better focus. I think whoever did the mod didn't necessarily do this necessarily right. Shit. Hmm. And I'm not a real. I'm not really familiar with firearms, so I don't even know what these scopes really are. You would think, though, that one of these two that required Gun Nut 3 would be the better one, but I don't know. Maybe I'll just keep with that one since I'm not really sure. Uh, muzzle break. Yes, let's go with the Osprey here. Let's see. Uh, movement speed while aiming down sights. Yeah, scrap that. Let's see what else we got. Duelists. Now yeah, we can just get rid of that. Plus 50 damage against. Yeah, no, we'll just scrap you. We'll keep those. Um, I don't think we picked up anything that was particularly interesting. No, we didn't. Okay. Well, it's fine. Yeah, we can't build any of those. Uh, oh right, we had a quick draw one that we we had from somewhere. Uh, yeah, let's go with the uh, let's go with Vats cost. Sure, sweet, cool. All right, so now we've got a really nice weapon that we can finally replace the uh, pistol we got from the Vault 111 uh, overseer. Go in here. Let's drop off the laser pistol, the gamma gun. Uh, yeah, we'll take we'll put that away. And we'll just use this Beretta from now on. I think we've got... I think these are good. Oh, we don't need Molotov cocktails. Those can go in there. Let's take a look and see. What else we got? What else we got? What else can we kind of toss in here? I think we're pretty good. Oh, uh, yeah, I meant to sell the fucking vodka. Meh, fuck it. I don't need this much Nuka-Cola. Yeah, we'll do all that. Oh, I didn't sell... Oh, fuck, I didn't sell the purified water. God damn it. How did I, I forget... Up alcohol after How did I forget to do that? To pick something up? Shot my liver. Well, pretty... yeah, let's see what we got. Let's see what you have. Yeah, let's yeah. see what else we could buy for the purified water that we didn't sell. Jeez. Nice job, Seraph, you moron. Uh, all right, so we got 308, huh? Uh, could do... All right, let's just do one alarm clock. Sealed Wonder Glue. We'll go with this. We'll just buy a bunch of this shit. Yeah, this works. 
Death claw hide, sure. All right, we'll still make money. Cool. Yep, give me junk. Give me junk. We can, we can build shit off of all that stuff. Perfect. Okay, now we're in much better shape. Okay, so save. That's very important. Okay. Weapons. Beretta. Perfect. All right. Now we got a nice, cool modded weapon. All right. Modders do such, such <laughs> they really do <laughs> wondrous fucking things with, uh, I mean, there's so many talented modders adding really cool weapons and uh, whatnot. So I only added weapons that I felt like would be lore friendly for the universe. And I don't really see any reason why things like a Beretta or like a Sig Sauer gun wouldn't be here. Because a lot of those were around in like, you know, your 50s type of era. It doesn't necessarily have a more traditional Fallout aesthetic, but there's no reason why that wouldn't exist in the setting. I feel like it's okay. Do, 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 do. I'm going to have to run downstairs and grab another soda in a second. Or water, something along those lines. Hello, bird. Right. Did I already grab this? Yes, I did. Oh, right. Here's the other civic access. We could have gone down that to get to the um, plutonium well that's leaking. <laughs> Granted, it worked out. All right, so we'll just head down this one. Oh, fucking Christ. You son of a bitch. Can't believe he hit me with that. Don't you die on me. Heads up. No. Just want to grab that. Okay. Hmm? What do we got it going on over here? Well, let's find out. Don't know who those uh, who they are. <laughs> my provisioner and a bunch of my Minutemen are after somebody. <laughs> Raiders. And they're going to kill them. This time. <laughs> Yeah, the second I saw Molotov cocktails, I had a feeling it was Raiders. Dumb shits. Wow, that was pretty uh, gruesome. <laughs> Wrong fucking road. <laughs> All right, now we can put this away. Well, down we go. We'll go find Deacon here. We'll deal with this. I already built artillery there, so I don't need to worry about that. It's been a while since we've been down this way. Let's check and see if there's some Nuka-Cola Quantum. Aw, oh, boo. There isn't. Damn. It does eventually restock. <laughs> Just the funniest fucking thing. Well, let's see if anybody's up here. I don't see anybody up here. Okay. Yeah, there's nothing in there. Nope, no one in there. Is that usual? Just that usual BS. Little swing set. Fuck. The hell is that? Gunners. Damn. Scavenger.
Let's see if I can get the angle on those guys. Come on. That's actually a much more realistic, uh... It was a headshot. Shit. <laughs> okay, double kill there. Yeah, gunners, uh, gunners are, don't, they don't play around. <sighs> Shit, man. Well, that was a hell of a firefight. Ah, they were in <laughs> they were in a fight against synths. Interesting. Any other spoils to be had? I don't see any. Good grief. Let's heal myself here. Alright, so there's the bridge. Deacon should be right around here. Oh, look at that. And there he is. Deacon, is that you? Like the disguise? It's Wastelander Camo. This is my pile of garbage, asshole. <coughs> Back off. Good, right? Hello there. <sighs> You're lucky I didn't do one of my face swaps, too. Hey, Maxie, how are you doing, Captain? You can change your face. I put myself under the knife every year or two. New face, new body, you know, the full makeover. It keeps our enemies guessing. We did hear about that. Doc, Doc, Doc Crocker offers that uh, service in Diamond City. I almost didn't recognize you. <laughs> That's the point. How are you doing, my friend? The railroad's only recently been using the old North Church. Our old base was underneath the Slocum's Joe. We had a pretty sweet setup until the Institute found us. I love this particular piece of dialogue. Your base was under a donut shop? That's awesome. It's a lot better than it sounds. Well, it was until it was blown to hell. The Hobbit was such a good series of movies. What happened? Our HQ was strong, defensible. Heck, we thought it was secure. Inside a minute, the Institute troopers breached the doors and turned it into a shooting gallery. The survivors didn't have time to grab anything. So we're getting something important we had to leave behind. Hey, Neuter Mask, greetings. Welcome to the stream. I got a free iPhone 11 the other day. That's always nice. We like free stuff. What exactly are we looking for? I'll tell you when we get inside. I know that's a bum deal, but strategic ignorance has saved our organization more times than I can count. We got a tourist nearby. He or she has information on the base. So let's pump him for information before we dive in. For now, I'll take point. So I'm looking for rail signs, symbols we use to send messages. Okay, let's, uh, let's not have that weird, annoying if you like nav that, point over. We got signs and counter signs, dead drops, even a secret handshake. Alright, maybe the handshake never got on. <laughs> a handshake would be pretty pretty awesome though. Yeah, who doesn't love free stuff? Ah, uh, and you needed it, so it was perfect since you needed a new phone. Anyway, the tourist should have a trail left for us. Come on, Deacon. You're leading you're going point. Let's go. Here we go. Rail sign. The arrow in the center indicates a direction. So our tourist is up ahead. Let's keep going. So this part, we just kind of follow them. This is uh, kind of the lull in the storm before the action breaks. But he's also doing some very valuable explaining how their faction works. They're like basically a organ. They're they're a faction of a bunch of like 007 James Bond types. Literally dead drops, secret codes, all that stuff. Right there. I 
find anything useful on him? We'll take the ammo. We got Corvega in the background. Come on, Deacon, let's go, man. Dog meat, I think, keeps tripping him up. Oh. Or maybe he just knew those guys were over there. <laughs> I wouldn't have bothered firing through them, uh, firing at them through the glass, but hey. Loot the bodies! But oh, we'll definitely take the new Coca-Cola Quantum that's up here. And we've definitely taken the 10 millimeter ammo. Actually, I think this is the most 10 millimeter ammo I've had up until this point. We'll do a little third person here. <laughs> oh, and dog meat's looking at Deacon. That means there's an ally nearby, our tourist. You take point on the conversation. Look, no matter what he says, you just say, mine is in the shop. Trust me. All right, let's go say hi to this dude. Yeah, that gap always made me nervous. <laughs> yeah, here we are, looking awesome. Alright, let's go back in here. Hey. Oh, thank God. Do you have a Geiger counter? Do you have a goddamn Geiger counter? So, also got a summer job from July, so gonna get some monies. Ooh, we like monies. So it's all pretty good for me right now. Hey, everything's coming up. Maxi. <laughs> oh, I do have to get up super early. That 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 part of it is not super awesome. <laughs> Mine is in the shop. Who the hell is he? HQ said they were sending one agent, not two. Sorry, I'm new. She's just showing me the ropes. All right. The wall is my witness. I thought I was dead. About goddamn time you headquarters bastards got here. <laughs> oh, Ricky, I love this fucking guy. It's all right. We're here now. You're safe. You think I'm goddamn safe? That little smoking Joe's of yours is crawling with goddamn chrome domes and sons of bitches. The front's fortified to hell and back. They place <laughs> mines all over the goddamn place. Wait, they have a minefield? Yeah, the mother of all minefields. I couldn't draw you a map if I tried. <laughs> I appreciate all you've done. I hope it helps. I really do. As soon as it's safe, I'm getting the hell out of here. So if you need anything else, better ask soon. <laughs> hey. Well, isn't Ricky just a ray of sunshine? You think he's telling the truth? Speaking of truth, why did you lie to Ricky? My job in the railroad is intel. That job's easier if no one knows who I am. So, I lied. I do that. <laughs> Talky talk, and I got to watch from the sidelines. Go team us. <laughs> he doesn't strike me as the dishonest type. Yeah, that's my read, too. First rule in this business is never go against your gut. So... If we take him at his word, the front door has mines, synths, and probably other fun and exciting prizes. So, we're going in through the escape tunnel. <laughs> yeah, I'm doing pretty well. I mean, schoolwork is schoolwork, but I'm doing well. The donut shop has an escape tunnel? What? Doesn't everyone have an escape tunnel? Seriously, though? Thank God for that tunnel. If it weren't for that, there wouldn't be any railroad left. Tunnel has got to be easier than a frontal assault. Easier, but no cakewalk. You lead us there, pal. I got you covered. Uh, and now we're gonna. What is the hell is doing all that fighting? 
Lexington is such a shithole. <laughs> hey, Ricky. You need something else? Uh Now nah, we're good. Okay. for us. Goodbye. Damn straight. <laughs> yeah, we're we're not doing a frontal assault. So none of those other other dialogue choices mean anything. All right, we go in through the escape tunnel. School really really to be schoolwork, unfortunately. Yeah. It's brutal. It is brutal. Once I get this literature review done and that class is over with, the rest of my summer will be a little easier, but still, it's just... It's a slog, man. It's a slog. Oh, my God. <laughs> but, you know, it is what it is, man. It is what it is. Hopefully, in a year, year and a half, I'll have the three letters after my name, and then all will be good. Now, if I remember correctly, it's over here somewhere course I could just make my life easier and uh, activate the nav point all right fine let's activate the nav point uh, damn it I just didn't go far enough <laughs> I was going sort of the right direction but you know what I was drifting over that way I wasn't actually going the right way well I was sort of going the right way but that was it okay I would have eventually found it without that Oh, I gotta talk to Preston. Thank God. I thought, oh fuck, I didn't fuck up. I fucked up the Abernathy thing. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Resplendent Seraph, PhD. <laughs> yeah, we'll get there eventually. We'll get there eventually. Uh, all right, so now we've maxed out Ninja. So now our sneak attacks will do a lot more damage. And we'll have a much easier time uh, sniping things from cover and uh, hiding places. Ooh, we got more blood leaf. Make more blood leaf. We'll be making chems with these. All right. Now we got a dog and two companions with us. <laughs> now into the sewer we go. <laughs> the back entrance is safer, but be ready for Gen 1s and 2s. So it's time you learn why we're here. We're retrieving a prototype developed by our good Dr. Carrington. What can you tell me about the Gen 1s and 2s? The synths didn't start off as nigh-perfect copies of human beings. The Institute had to work up to that level of hubris. Gen 1s and 2s were stepping stones along the way. The Railroad's not fully united on how we feel about them. What's there to be divided about? Everyone wants to liberate the Gen 3s, the human-looking synths. Some of the synths in the Railroad, like Glory, think we should help earlier models, too. But Gen 1s are basically the same as, well, a Protectron, so the line gets muddy. Do we defend AI rights? Terminals? Hell, turrets? <laughs> Every time it gets brought up, <sighs> fireworks. All the old arguments flare up. The upshot is Glory and some others won't run missions like this. Who's Dr. Carrington? All goes well. You'll meet him soon enough. I'm risking my neck here. I want to know what I'm risking it for. So I'll be straight with you. Although you're not going to like it, I have no idea what the prototype does. <laughs> treated like mushrooms. Kept in the dark and fed... Well, you get the idea. It's got to be important, though. Des wouldn't risk our hides lightly. Let's find a prototype, then. Together with you? I like our odds. First step... Override the security lockdown. Oh, well, in we go here. Well, thankfully we could do this. But yeah, I'm liking this iPhone. I had a Samsung for a long time before, and I prefer Android for its freedom. But it seems like the later iPhones aren't too restrictive. That's nice. If they're truly not as restrictive, that would be really that would be a big improvement. Ah, uh, I didn't want to do that. Do I still get to do that? No, that's that's so lame. Uh, there we go. Oh, well, I have to get it anyway. Fuck it. Uh, 
Hey there. If we make it out of here alive, I guarantee your railroad material. <laughs> yeah, hack that terminal, no problem. And so we got Roger here. Into the escape tunnel we go. <laughs> yeah, we know you poor dead bastard. There we go. Nice sneak attack for four damage. Well, Maven. <laughs> it scared the shit out of me. I'm like, holy fuck, what's ambushing me? <laughs> I totally forgot I set that damn sound alert. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, that's gonna quickly become a favorite. I wasn't sure which oh no I was gonna get. Yep. Oh no! I was expecting Mr. Bill. Yeah, right? You could go, oh no, Mr. Bill! <laughs> but yeah, definitely went with JoJo. That was awesome. <laughs> so yeah, Maven hid this in here. So we'll just pretty strip, simple and straightforward. We'll take ammo. That's the only problem. We could technically pickpocket Deacon. That would be really inconvenient right now. Hey, probably saved some lives. I don't think you've ever seen a courser, but they're top of the line in Institute. Let's fuck up your day tech. There shouldn't be any coursers in here, but if there are, just run. Scanning. <laughs> I love how they do like a matrix callback. If you see a courser, just run. <laughs> uh, oh, yeah, I was actually. Uh, this would be a place for the shot grenade, but oh well. Ah, oh, fucking missed it. Got you. Mm-hmm. Was I hitting them or was I hitting the wall? I was probably hitting the wall. <laughs> Not the end of the world. All right. Be something valuable inside to justify all this protection. Hey, Cleo. Hi, Cleo. All right, I got a cat getting a pet here. Hi, Cleo. You want a pet, baby girl? Hello, Cleo. How's my girl? Hello, kitty, kitty. Cat. I love you, cat. <laughs> Just came over to say hi. You good girl? Yeah, you a good girl. Who's my good girl? What's up, kitty kitty? What you doing, girl? Another active terminal. We didn't have time to trip the defenses up ahead. Power them up, and we can give our friends a little surprise. Well, let's do that then. Tarberries. Yep. And she's gonna lay down on my foot. <laughs> Unfortunately, they made quick work of the terminal, but still distracted them off. Oh, there's a headshot. Right through its CPU. No, nope, Kelly didn't make it. That's all right. Get you. Get you. Slow and steady wins the race here. I say as I then proceed to start running. <laughs> I just realized that. Right, cool. While the ad runs, will. Hmm. Go 
Okay, well, that's two. So it might be N. Fuck. Let's see, can I reset? Now I would like to get one of my tries back. Can I get one of my tries back? That'd be great. Please? There we go. Let's try getting my tries reset here. Uh, I already tried ended. Let's see. Refresh. No. Cross. Cool. You. No, there's two in there. Tried ended. Got it. There we go. All right. Let's open the door. Okay. Oh boy. Who's next? You want some? Oh, there's one up there. Let's go in here. Make sure there isn't a synth over here. Nope. Clear. Clear. Defense Intelligence Agency. Heck of a lot of good they did. <laughs> no shit, McCready. All right. I think we're... We'll take the military fatigues. Why are you hiding? Fuck. There was somebody up here somewhere. Appears to be nothing. Perhaps my sensors need calibration. And you're up there somewhere. Once... You know once we get this fucker dealt with, then we'll air you are. Alright. <laughs> bye bye, Jen. Prepare to be shocked. Not every Slocum's Joe has a massive tunnel complex underneath it. See, yeah, right? Prototype is locked up in the heart of the facility. So yeah, they were using the old switchboard, which basically was, uh, you know, this world's version of the CIA, the Defense Intelligence Agency. <laughs> this was uh, when the uh, actual prologue of this game starts. This place must have been an absolute hotbed of, an act of activity here. God only knows what these fuckers were dealing with that fateful morning. Hello, kitty kitty. Oh, I love you too. All right, I don't think there's anything else in here now. Oh, we'll take pre-war money. I don't think we need to cook anything. But we still have a prototype of ours to find. Everyone knows that the CIA operates illegal satellite offices under Krispy Kremes, right? Can you, like, can you imagine if the local Krispy Kreme literally had... Uh, so we will take the universe... We are now permanently more difficult to detect while sneaking. Like, we were already pretty... Difficult to detect. Now we're even harder. Uh, I will take this antique globe in particular. So this central terminal, we're going to hack the fucking shit out of this thing. All right. Mm. Jet. I'm in. Oh, cool. We got it. So we got some DEFCON status here. Anchorage all clear, DEFCON 3. And then uh, Compaq flight reports three USOs off California coast. JCS advise. SIs at squadron of airplanes, possible Chinese at high altitude off Bering Strait. And then four probable launches, DEFCON 2. NORAD confirms birds in the air, DEFCON 1. Authenticated order, response scenario, repeat. So clearly based on this, uh, at least in the Fallout universe, the U.S. didn't fire first. Now, of course, there's always uh, some speculation whether or not they were fed, fed poor intel, but certainly would... Uh, yeah, and then Pennsylvania, New York confirmed strike, and then offline, offline. And then the database is corrupt. But yeah, 
Uh, fun stuff. But interesting. And of course, you can't even get into that terminal unless you, you can hack it. Yeah, let's just, let's just go fast here. It's, it's actually faster just by going by the first, first three. Because eventually it's going to be the first three. Nope, shit, I didn't want to do that. I accidentally hit that button. Now I'm locked out. I don't think there's anything all that interesting in that terminal anyway, so fuck it. Get some fiber optic wire. Yeah, the hacking minigame is much more annoying than, uh... Than the lockpicking one. Okay, R&D. Exit. Alright, let's go over here and see what's up here. I mean, I know if I were running an intelligence agency, I would definitely have my headquarters underneath the fucking donut shop. For sure. <laughs> do do do. Don't mind me, I'll take your synth components. And the synth component is a really useful way of identifying whether or not somebody you ended up end up, ended up killing was a synth or not. Uh, yeah, we'll take that. Why not? Okay. Hey, buddy, you're such a good boy. I know you're such a good girl. Don't get jealous of dog meat, cat. <laughs> Cleo looks up at me from my feet like, hey, what about me? <laughs> my cat's so awesome. She is a fucking trip, man. Uh, yeah, we'll take bobby pins. Although I don't need nearly the number of bobby pins I have. Okay, there wasn't anybody on the other side of that door. Is someone present? Not you anymore. Of course, that fucking mannequin. You know how many times I shot that mannequin playing this game for the first time? So one thing I will be doing. Disable. Disable. Okay. Really don't need those going off. By accident or anything? Okay, good. That's the exit. So we'll deal with that later. Once we get this prototype. Okay, good. Uh, right. I need to hack that in order. Something worth a few caps in here. Yeah, yeah. Nice. Perfect. Just easier. It's sad that the minigame is actually easier and quicker to just not play the damn thing. And just, like, brute force it. <laughs> yeah, sure. Cap stash. That's what I actually wanted. I didn't want the other things, but oh well. Here we are. Hmm. <laughs> That was a nice shot. <laughs> that was a fucking nice shot. Oh, man. <laughs> I wish I always got shots off like that. All right, so that requires Deacon. Hey, Deacon, get to work, buddy. Where's that play, bud? Carrington, Stanley, Salas, and Crote, Supreme Legs. What? Oh, it says me. <laughs> That's a hell of a uh, vault, man. We certainly weren't cutting our way through that. Hey, Tommy Whispers. So Tommy Whispers didn't make it out. He died protecting our secrets. Let me see. There. Tommy would want you to have his hand cannon. Don't let it size for you. I appreciate it. May it serve you as well, heck, better than it did Tommy. So this is the best vanilla gun in the game, in my opinion. At least the primary, your, the best primary sidearm. It comes with a built-in silencer already. Uh, and has a really good VATS accuracy and, my, and VAT, uh, reduced VATS cost. 
The Deliverer is just fucking awesome. It is an awesome, awesome weapon. Grab first, first stealth belt. You turn that over to Desdemona, kitty, kitty. and she'll have to let you into our merry band. <laughs> All right, so we got the Deliverer. Fortunately, we just picked up this modded weapon. I think that actually suits us better, but we will take Perfect. Carrington's the prototype. At the end of the hall. And we'll take these stealth boys. Hell of a lot easier fighting the chrome domes on this side of the minefield. <laughs> yeah. You know, I really do need to use these stealth boys more often. I always forget I have them. And we won't bother with the cryo mines. <laughs> Douchebag. That's it. All right. Well, we'll definitely take that fusion core. Hell yeah. End of the line. Just power up the elevator. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Beatrice Bell. All right. All right. I have to actually power up the elevator. Forgot our elevator. Come on. Thank you. Let's see. Go into aid. Thanks. Food. Yeah, let's eat that squirrel on a stick we just got. Perfect. Let's get a quick snack here as we work our way up. <laughs> so if we'd done the frontal assault, we would have had to come to this bookcase and move the bookcase. One of these days, I'll actually do the frontal assault. Never actually done the frontal assault. I've always done the uh, sneak route. But I've always played more of a... Well, I tend to favor stealth builds. I haven't always. But even times where I've played a uh, more militant build, I still ended up doing... The, uh, the sneaky way. Just because I felt like Deacon would kind of prefer that. And also, again, it is a lot easier to fight these guys on this side of the minefield. But just once, I really should try the frontal assault just to see how it plays differently. Right, so now, who's over here? Well, this is interesting. Holy shit. Everything here got fucking fried. Well, somebody did a frontal assault and it wasn't us. <laughs> wow. Uh, okay. What the fuck happened here? I've never shown up here and had everything already be destroyed. Oh my God. That's hilarious. Yeah. All these fuckers are hey, dead. Man. We got what we came for. Let's split up and meet back at the catacombs. We made a good team. The best. See you soon. Yeah, fuck yeah, let's do it. Free war money, we'll take caps. I just, I'm trying to figure out how the fuck... Who the hell killed everything? <laughs> was it one of my, was this my group's doing? Now the only question is... Yep, we still got mines here, there, and everywhere. That's a problem. Deacon might set off the fucking mines. I know it's right here. All right, it's right there. Deacon may set off some of those mines on his way out. I gotta be careful of these mines myself. Although I think at this point with my stealth, I don't think I have to worry about them all that much. But just the same, I'd really rather not die from a really stupid reason, like hitting a fucking mine. That seems really super lame. <laughs> well, hey, you know what's funny about that? I saw Deacon about to walk that way, and with all those explosions, she just goes, Nood, and then decides to walk a different way. Oh my god. Uh, Alright, well yeah, let's go find out what the hell that was. Who knows, maybe that's why... That's our wonderful raider. Most likely, although I think we just killed that raider. Oh. Deacon's having to deal with ghouls. 
No, sir. Let's raid the ghoul he just killed. Hey, duct tape. Sweet. <laughs> that works. Let's see who's actually fighting over here. Oh, fuck. Oh, sneak attack. <laughs> Fucking behemoth. I think that was a sneak attack uh, headshot, too. Now, that I can't... I'd have to go back over that again, I think. Oh, but that blew up. <laughs> Alright, so I guess the question is, do we want to bother working our way over? Or do we just fast travel back to that spot? I think we just fast travel back there, honestly. I'm kind of okay with fast traveling there. Normally, I don't like the idea of fast traveling a lot. But all things considered, let's just go to the old, let's just go to the old, uh, North Church and be done with that. Now, can't fast travel with enemies nearby. All right, what do we do? We do at least have to get the hell out of the area. Fine, fair enough. Yeah, that saves you from, like, cheesing being in a firefight and being about to die. And being like, oh, just do that. Like, well, yeah. <laughs> Game doesn't let you cheese that. All right, I already got all this stuff. Okay, yeah, I already raided all this shit. Let's just get the hell out of here. Of course, depending on how far we get, it might make sense to, uh... Yeah, that's pretty fucking eerie. Might end up making sense to, uh... Just keep going, but whatever. Okay, we should be far enough away now. For many of those enemies. Old North Church. Come on. Fast travel. Thank you. Okay. Perfect. Yeah, we must have been too close to a couple of hidden ghouls or... Hell, maybe even a raider with a fat man, right? You never know with that spot. What you're going to be dealing with. Oh. What do you know? It's raining. Joy. Just like that, we could start being members of the railroad, and we could start working our way up to a very awesome particular item called Ballistic Weave, which is super awesome. Yeah, I'm really looking forward to getting Ballistic Weave. That's when we'll, uh, we'll build a particular outfit, probably using... Um, a more colonial overcoat looking thing. It's not going to be the Minutemen General's outfit. We'll use something similar though. And the new girl patched me up, put me on her shoulder, and blasted her way through the rest of the complex. <laughs> everywhere. Carrying you the whole time? This is Amazing, great. Right? That's one word for it. Deacon told me you single handedly secured Carrington's prototype, disabled a minefield, and wiped out a hundred Gen 1s. So is any of that true? <laughs> Every word he said was true. And then some. A full hundred. I I can't even imagine. See? Just like I said, boss. I was expecting Deacon to grab a full team, including Glory, to secure that prototype. But instead, just the two of you cleared out the entire switchboard. You'd be insane not to sign her up, Des. You've certainly made an impression on Deacon. He's never spoken about or lied about anyone so highly before. Welcome to the railroad, Agent. Glad to be aboard. It seems we're very lucky to have you. So you're in. Now I need to know what to call you. Secrecy keeps us alive. Code names are a part of that. So what's yours? Uh, yeah, fuck it. Call me Professor. You certainly demonstrated your intelligence. <laughs> Professor it is. Your first official order is to deliver Dr. Carrington his prototype and see if he can use another pair of hands. But first, it's time to meet the rest of the gang. The location of our HQ is one of our most tightly guarded secrets, so be careful coming in or out. You never can tell when you're being watched. Hey there. Welcome to the family. We're a colorful and arguably insane bunch, but you're stuck with us now. 
Speaking of which, if you don't mind a sidekick, let's keep a good thing going and travel together some more. Let's go then. I'm all ready to go. All right, Deacon. I guess it's your turn. Stay safe. Appreciate that, McCready. You do the same. Yeah, we'll send McCready to Sanctuary. That place is already fucking bugged to hell and back anyway. So then we work up Deacon's Affinity. But Deacon's Affinity is actually pretty easy to work up. It may lack the amenities of the switchboard, but it's safe. And we've taken precautions not to be surprised again. Things are chaotic right now, so there's plenty for you to do. <laughs> yeah. That's an understatement. Here we go. Railroad HQ. Assuming Desdemona can actually come over here. Listen up, everyone. This is the professor. She did the switchboard off with Deacon. She's a full agent, effective immediately. I'm counting on each of you to show her the ropes. Feel free to welcome her aboard. That is all. It's not an easy road you've chosen, but you're never alone in this. Desdemona. Working with compartmentalized information is a difficult transition for new agents. The latest in scanning signals. No change. So the tallies at three MIA offices. How'd they find switchboard, Doc? We tarried over long. All it takes is one person being careless. We have any leads on the next HQ? Never you mind that. <laughs> ah, it's our newest agent. You're from one of those vaults. Testimony told me to give you this. An extraordinary feat to recover this. But that's hardly the point. Without a lick of training and us knowing hardly anything about you, Des has invited you to join HQ. Very it would risky. Have been nice if she had consulted with her second in command. What's done is done. <sighs> Since you're here now, we might as well put you to work. Tell me what you need, Doc. One of our field agents, Old Man Stockton, needs help with the runaway synth, H222. So headquarters, as always, puts out the fires that others can't be bothered to put out themselves. The paranoid old bat won't even tell us the problem. He insists that we get our intel from a dead drop. What's a dead drop? Oh, shit. I knew I forgot to tell you about something. <laughs> a dead drop is a mailbox with a rail sign on it. It's a common means of communication for us. <laughs> Keep an eye out for them. When you make contact with Stockton, he won't give you the time of day unless you give him the proper countersign. The current sign is, do you have a Geiger counter? And the counter is, mine is in the shop. Please tell me Deacon taught you that at least. You can trust me with this. I'll get it done. You sound rather convincing. <laughs> Stockton is a prominent businessman at Bunker Hill. The dead drop will be near there. Use the escape tunnel in the back to get there quicker. Good old escape tunnel. So yeah, this part is uh, pretty neat. Just talking to everybody. You can also pick up all this shit in case you need to use it for the workshops that are in here. Uh, in the meantime, let's talk to Tinker Tom. Excuse me. Make sure I don't hit R. That would be bad. So for Ballistic Weave, we need to do Dr. Carrington's two quests. The census sweep says you're clean. Hooray! We're bug free. I'm relieved, actually. Whoa, 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 whoa. Not so fast. <laughs> okay, you eating anything out there? Because if you have, they got you. Are you seriously asking if I eat? Food? The food out there is dangerous. It's contaminated. That's why I grow my own food. Reclaimed pure water. Local nutrients. This is Nothing fucking great. Me that I don't <laughs> see. That's, that's how you stay safe. The Institute has these tiny microscopic robots in the food, man. And they report back. Tom, that's a rubbish. You just don't get it, Carrington. The Institute is in your blood. They're in my blood. Absolutely not. Tom, we ran your tests extensively. We found red blood cells, white blood cells, platelets. Everything you'd expect. And that doesn't get you the least bit suspicious. 
The results were too perfect, too expected, and that's how they fooled you. I try and keep an open mind. All right, there we go. Thank you. Okay, okay. If you really want to be safe, let me give you a little shot. There's, there's the motor. Says no one has to, but it will kill those little robots. There's battery acid in that serum of yours. You can't nuke an omelet without irradiating some eggs. You ready to shoot up? <laughs> Do no juice for fertilizer, right? There's no way in hell I'm letting you do that. Fine. Let them hear and see everything. Okay, okay. I hope you like your whole life being downloaded to the Institute's mainframe. I love the fact that Deacon likes it when you tell uh, Tinker Tom there's no way in hell I'm letting you do that. But here we go. Here's this, is fun, this one's funny too. Actually, I dose myself with radiation to kill the blood robots. I read you, man. Smart. I'd rather have some hair loss than let the Institute win. Hey, you. You get it, man. I make things around here. You, you go and do. You do whatever. And come back and I will set you up. <laughs> Let's see what you got. Make yourself comfortable and prepare to be astounded. <laughs> yeah, not any different than today. But he's got some cool stuff. He does have the Tinker Tom special, which is a um, plus 100% VATS accuracy, if not in combat, which is pretty neat, but not, not great. Um, let's see. Do we want... Yeah, you know what? I'll take some more 10 millimeter ammo. We'll at least do that. Hmm. Well, shit. Yeah, I'll sell the 50 caliber. There we go. Perfect. So let's take her Tom's intro. Tom. The boys have been working on some new toys. Want to take a look? Uh, okay. Not interested. Oh man. Later then. Okay, I'll have to come back for that one later. I guess I have to do this mission first, and then I can... Up there, assume you're being watched. Always. But let's go over here. Talk to you. Calibrating. Using new data set. Pam. Processing. Agent. Professor. Your arrival was not calculated. That's a strange way to say hello. Temporarily unable to process verbal input. Still processing. Preliminary adjustments to statistical models complete. Commencing introduction. I was, am, and will most likely be Pam. Predictive analytic machine. <laughs> well, nice to meet you, Pam. Introductory token recognized. Nice to meet you, too. Unknown entity, I provide first-order approximations of the behaviors of all residents of the region. Designated Commonwealth. Rephrasing. I predict the future. But you didn't predict me coming. That's correct. Caution. Biological life forms behave erratically, unpredictably. All output subject to an extremely high margin of error. Even if you're wrong sometimes? That's unbelievable. Repeat. Caution. <laughs> Reliance on this unit's predictions is deemed unwise. Operation complete. You are a rogue variable. No current or previous models predict your presence or existence. Query. What is your point of origin? I'm from Vault 111, if that's what you mean. Accessing Vault 111, Cryo Vault, believed destroyed. Conversion Which is interesting. Terminated, pending construction of new probability matrix. Rephrasing, goodbye. Which is interesting that Pam had that much intel. Uh, we'll take the I magnifying glass. Yeah, we'll take some valuable salvage, but other than that, we're pretty good here. We already have... Yep, we got the Boston After Dark. Yeah, I gotta talk to Preston at some point. You never met a synth before, but alright, we'll go and we will... Let's go get that, sorry. Let's go retrieve this dead drop.
now that we've talked to Pam, we've gotten our, uh, well, now that we've talked to Carrington, gotten our first quest, we just need to do Boston after dark. And then what we need to do is do Tradecraft, and we need to get two uh, DIA caches for Pam. And at that point, we will get Ballistic Weave, um, the option to create Ballistic Weave for our, uh, for our clothing. And that is fucking awesome. And so that's our current goal, is to get Ballistic Weave. So we'll do a couple of these quests. And we might swing through Covenant, because that, I find that to be fascinating to do. It's a really interesting quest, uh, for a variety of reasons. Oh, no. Hey, Freakbot, welcome back, buddy. That is such a great sound alert. I'm so glad I made that one. <laughs> oh, my goodness. I'm not thrilled with the occasional hiccup, but what can you do? All right, so if I go in the boxing gym, that ends up being decent if I need lead. But I'm, I don't really have a need for a lot of lead, and lead is heavy, for obvious reasons. So forget that. We're just going to go in this direction, grab ourselves a dead drop for old man Stockton, and we'll help him with his problem, and we'll get ourselves some ballistic weave. But yeah, ballistic weave is fucking awesome. What do we got over here? Oh, some Minutemen. Cool. <laughs> and the good old USS Constitution still on the uh, savings and loan over there. <laughs> oh, yep, I need to go over here this way. Let's see. Hopefully this dead drop isn't all that far. And I've ne I had actually never done the what's a dead drop before. So uh, to have Deke just go, ah, I knew I forgot something. That was... That was fucking funny. <laughs> ah, fucking murder. I should have a battle cry. We live to fight another day. And night. And day. Etc. We'll take the buff out. Alright, Stockton's holotape. Let's go grab that. Do 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 do. Holotapes. Stockton's holotape. That's right. Never leave home without your ballistic weave underwear on. Window is open for a heavy to make contact, but they should act now. The package is still in my possession. It cannot remain here safely for much longer. Out. Uh, it's a super mutant. <laughs> eh, that thing is heavy. I probably shouldn't have grabbed that, but whatever. We've gone too far now. Okay, the rest of this I don't need. I don't need the nav points now. That would be awesome, though. Seriously, ballistic weave underwear. I'm oh my god. Thinks it's got a lock on trade in the Commonwealth, but watch out for Bunker Hill. It has a lot of potential. Deacon's a fucking great companion. You know, what? let's actually talk to some of these people now. Let's actually hey. deal with some of this now. I haven't seen you before. If you need a doctor, let's get you examined. So you're a doctor? Veterinarian, actually. And don't give me that look. Bones get set the same way whether you got two or four of them. So True. let's talk about you and what kind of help you need. You're a veterinarian. I'm an old caravan girl, okay? You learn to take care of the animals or you don't have a caravan for very long. Then you get ambushed, a couple of friends and family start bleeding out on the floor, and you learn how to patch a few wounds. You learn triage, too. Satisfied? Now let's talk about what you need patched up. Any news out there, Doctor? Been out of the loop. Lots of sick and injured taking up my time. Now, if you need treatment, let me know. Not now. Fine. Ballistic weave underoos. <laughs> I wonder who or what they're protecting against. Before we talk to Old Man Stockton, let's just have a couple of intro I conversations. Have to railroad with all this shit. I don't know. People got to hey, do something, you. Dad. Talk some sense into my numb skull son. Getting involved with the railroad is just trouble. It's always good to help people. I have no problem helping people. Since, though? All I do here is help crusty old caravan hands, no offense, go blind off rot gut. At least the railroad's fighting the Institute. 
And why not save sins? Might as well go off and join the Death Claw Preservation Society. <laughs> Trying to save sense sounds noble to me. I'm not alone in this, Dad. Enough. We got customers. So yeah, obviously I was, uh, you know, hey, don't be shy. Talking for Deacon's benefit there. Fast, we won't have much booze left. You have any work? Well. There is one thing. Dad, you're not going to send him on that same wild goose chase. Hey, he brought it up, not me. As I was saying, before us Savaldi started slinging rot gut for thirsty caravan hands, we came from a line of Minutemen. My grandpa, Brent Savaldi, was the last. He died fighting raiders just outside Malden. If you could find any of his personal effects, well, they didn't mean the world to me. If the price is right, I might help. Malden ain't the safest of places. I suppose I could spare 200 caps. It's okay. I'll find your grandpa. Just be careful, all right? I don't want any more deaths on my conscience. Yep, it always does, Dark Star. Good catch. I was wondering if anybody else would catch that. But yeah, the, the AI always fucks up with uh, Savaldi. As the fog gathered, he saw that great beast emerge back into the deep. And my grandpappy fled for the first and last time in his life. Ask any of the old timers, and they'll all agree. Something never let your guard completely down, even in a place like this. That was a fun story. I never actually had heard that one. Caravans ain't exactly the get to know you type. Less heartache that way. Load a little heavy, Dad. I'll buy anything you don't need and sell everything you do. You have any paying work? Yeah. I have something. It ain't easy though. Caravan is just love swapping tall tales. This but one's gonna I've be easy. One story enough times. There's gotta be some truth to it. Apparently, the northern road goes straight through an old military training yard that's just crawling with a horde of feral ghouls, and that's cutting into my bottom line. So you take care of that, and maybe I can throw a few caps your way. But the funny part is, we've already cleared this. I'm not doing the job for chump change. I'm tired of Mercs blowing this off. Are ferals really that scary? Fine. Call it 175 caps. Sounds like you need me a lot more than I need you on this. Clearing that road benefits <laughs> everyone. I can probably get Kessler to chip in, let's say, 225 caps. Oh, let's try and push Sherlock. This helps everyone. Maybe you can take a collection. For the cause. You're worse than the caravan. <laughs> I can probably scrape together 300 caps. I'm done negotiating. I'll take care of your feral problem. Great. If you want to stock up first, you never know when one of my knickknacks will keep you alive. Wait, I have to tra clear the tra Oh, I have to clear the training yard again. Oh, boo. I had just cleared that fucking place. Oh, well. Fine. Welcome, my friend. Might I ask, do you have it's okay. a Geiger counter? Mine is in the shop. You? I was expecting someone a bit more uh, armed. You're with our mutual friends, yes? So what's funny about that is, he says that no matter how armed you are. So one of my playthroughs I came through, I was in power armor. I had a Gatling laser. And he still gave you that same line. And I'm just like... Are you fucking kidding me? I'm in T-60 armor with a fucking Gatling laser. I'm more armed than anybody else in the fucking wasteland. <laughs> Maybe what they do is get all the speech checks and then pass on the job just to piss her off. <laughs> oh my God, that's such an amazing troll job. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> oh man. Let's say I am. Of course. You've just joined, haven't you? All you need to know is this is the first stop for all our new packages. <laughs> so maintaining proper security here and preventing any unnecessary delays is crucial. A trader always has to move his merchandise efficiently. And we're all about making good trade routes. Exactly. My current package has been in my possession far too long. I'm supposed to deliver the package to someplace nearby. 
but raiders have complicated matters. So, if you could... Facilitate delivery. Hmm. I can do that. We're supposed to make the delivery at night. So once you clear out the undesirables, we'll meet after the sun sets. There we go. So we just got to secure our rendezvous point. Should be able to do that. And of course, we already did our um, tour. There's nothing else to do here. So we do have to clear out the training yard at some point. So we'll cruise up here. And we will facilitate delivery. <laughs> uh, what time is it? In game. Oh, we'll have a while. So what we might do, we'll we'll clear out the raiders. What Deacon? He said it so fast and then gave up on it so fast. Nothing a mini new can't uncomplete <laughs> uncomplicate, yeah, right? That's what mini nukes are for. Alright, so I think these I still don't see anybody out here. We had Nope. Yep, they're back. But they're shooting at somebody else, not me. Or are they shooting at me? The trick to this is don't die. Shit. I think I hit Deacon there. I don't know where that guy is. Okay, now I do. Tell your friends, you dead bastard. That was a pretty nice headshot there. Of course, we still got that asshole up there. Where is this asshole? Must be on this side of the building. Playing games with me, huh? Yeah, shit. Bad timing. I was coming out in the open. <laughs> Just when I went out in the open. Fuck. Uh, yeah, I don't need the empty pig can. All right, so it's early morning, so we have all day. So we have some time. So once we clear out this area for Stockton, we can... Um, we'll have to wait till sunset. So what we might do is take out... Uh, the super mutants in the building nearby and just clear that. Uh, that's his damn fault for getting in the crossfire. Yeah, right? Oh my god. There's nothing worse than companions that just run in your line of fire all the time. Now, this game's not too bad about that. But there are some games that are just terrible with that. It's really fucking annoying. Yeah, let's team up on the mortuary. <laughs> All right, so one of these was there. There we go. Yeah, bolstered. Yeah, that's not great. That's kind of a shitty one. All right, so, I mean, we could just wait. We could just wait. Let's see. We got till... Wow, we got, we got a long time. Uh, so... Let's discover a couple of locations. Let's discover the areas... Uh, collateral damage, right? And just a little collateral damage. So we got tons of time. We'll just adventure around. Let's uh, be a little efficient with our time. Let's get some XP by going up here. Well, that sounds bad, whatever it is. Let's not go anywhere near that. Ah, fuck. Fucking mosquitoes. I hate these little bastards so very much. So this particular bridge that I'm about to approach, oh boy, I still remember the first time I walked across this thing. Fortunately, we've got enough stealth where we don't have to worry about this so much. <laughs> hey, Rob, how are you, my friend? So yeah, there's this trip uh, tripwire, which could set off an explosion, which basically would set off a Rube Goldberg device of uh, sort of explosions all across this bridge. The entire thing goes up like the goddamn 4th of July. It's ridiculous. Um, 
Wow, I'm not really seeing any of the... Normally when you go across that, you can actually pick up some of the explosive things, but... Mm, that's super lame. Anyway, uh, yeah. So it's a good thing we uh, disabled that, uh, that tripwire. Because, yeah, everything fucking explodes. And when I mean everything, I mean fucking everything. Uh, yeah, this whole place is just too super flammable. Uh, I could actually go over there, but I don't want to get too far away from where we need to be. Let's cruise over here. Let's clear out this super... Yeah, wow, that was delayed. Oh, it was, like, really delayed? That's not good. Wait, what was that message that was just up? I missed it. Hopefully it wasn't a, uh, miscellaneous. Clear the training yard. Yeah, find any training. Okay, no, nothing, nothing crazy. Like, how delayed? By, like, just a little more than it should be? Or, like, minutes? <laughs> Sometimes Twitch lags behind. You need to pause and unpause the video to get to live. Usually happens after. Oh, gotcha. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I've, I've seen that. I know what you're talking about now. Ah. Uh. <laughs> yeah. Oh, the joys. All right. So, that being the case. Hello let's... there. Ah, <laughs> uh, Rob testing it out there. Hopefully that was a little faster. Gotcha. All right, yeah, let's leave the deer alone. We've got plenty of that. What I really want to do here is maybe I should just go to one of the poos and wait. Pews and wait. Yeah, no, no, we're fine. Ragstag, just stay there. Ah, oh, fuck's sakes. Alright, fine. <laughs> Headshot! <laughs> I like money and ammo. Yeah, there's something else over there. Probably a fucking... Oh, I know where I am. Maybe I'll take the jet. She had me dead to rights. <laughs> Whenever you're done corpse squatting, God damn. Go. Dead to rights. I have no idea how she didn't kill me. Oops, I didn't really want to grab that. Hmm. <laughs> That's true. Same with this one. I had her debtor. Looking great. Alright, well, since... Oh, we already discovered that location. Good. Okay. Let's clear off this building of mutants. Ah, that's where I was... This is what I was looking for. I don't see anybody. That's unfortunate. <clears throat> Since we're here, don't mean to make you nervous, but I don't think we're alone. It begins. We got fun time incoming. <laughs> no. Oh, dog meat ran forward. Pinned one. You know, you're really good at this. Too good. Some up there. You know, I do like long, lazy, dull days, right? Come on, fall. Fall. Yes! Come on, keep falling. Yes! I don't have to fucking go up there. <laughs> oh, that was perfect. That was fucking perfect. I had visions of him just falling up there and then just despawning. I'm like, God damn it. I'm going to lose out on a perfectly good, uh... I'll take the radioactive gland. 
shotgun shells. Sure, let's just take all that shit. I was totally thinking I was going to miss out on all of that delicious loot. Okay, now where's that suicider? Here's he is. Yeah, give me that mini nuke, buddy. Well, that reminds me, next time I'm at Diamond City, I should buy a uh, uh, big boy. Come on, thank you. I kept hitting the meat bag. It took me a second to realize I was doing it. Ah, uh, very good. Yeah, we'll raid out to you when I'm eventually done. Good luck with yours. What are you playing tonight? Assuming you didn't leave already. Ease looting is why I always grab bloody mess. <laughs> yeah, right? Is it that shit just sp explodes everywhere? Although it's funny, uh, I actually get a mod uh, silico. Nice. Uh, I actually have a mod that disables the bloody mess. Oops. <laughs> oh, brother! Oh, that was a legendary one. Sweet. Yeah, let's take out these motherfuckers. Mm hmm. We like XP. Let's clear out this thing. And I will. Oh, you're up there. Shit. Nice job, dog meat. Winning, that is. Yeah, that guy's up here. There's one below us as well. I don't know where I missed him. I don't know where I missed him, but he's up there. Uh, remember, the MPAA says excessive gore and violence is okay as long as you don't use naughty words, right? Like, there's the, the logic there is so fucked. Out of you, asshole. The rest of these guys are below. Don't know how we missed them, but we must have. They're down there somewhere. Woohoo! There we go. That's fucking great. Where is this asshole? He must be over there somewhere. Oh. No, they're still down there. Let's go get him. Oh yeah, that's right. I forgot this was another way on, over to that building. He must have come up here. Right, the mutant hound was coming up here. <laughs> I'm, at this, not, I'm not even hiding at this point. Wow, that brute really fucking got me, though. Holy shit. Let's, uh... Yeah, let's take some blood bug steak. Fuck yeah. Hell to the yeah. Let's actually improve my HP. We're going to have a firefight in a little bit anyway. trap. I'm actually surprised. I really thought there'd be a trap in there. Take the flip lighter. Flip lighters are so awesome. I know that super mutant is still over here somewhere. But we basically have cleared them at this juncture. Oh, there you are. There we go. I'd go whole days without massacring a bunch of them. <laughs> yeah, we uh, we do tend to go get into a lot of fights. All right, but now we've cleared that area. That and so number one, I wanted to get a little XP. I also wanted to make sure that there wasn't a magazine at the very top of that. 
fuck is up with that? sort of memorial. Um, I wanted to make sure that there wasn't a magazine up there because I couldn't actually remember if there was a magazine to be had up there or not. Um, but I also didn't want to have to worry about fighting those little assholes when we do our escort mission in a little bit. Because sometimes, depending on what you do, you can absolutely get caught up in a gigantic fight with those super mutants. So now they're dead, and they won't be a problem that we have to worry about. Which is awesome. Okay. Now let's just make sure. Nothing, nothing, nothing. Okay. While we're here, let's just make sure there isn't anything of value up here. I don't believe there is, but since we're here, let's rule it out. Yeah, I don't think there's anything up here. I do not think there's anything up here. Yep, nope, there's not. Cool. All right, sweet. Pew, let's sit and let's wait. All right. Oh, uh, wow, it's actually for... Oh, you know, we don't even have to wait all that long. It's uh, 2.29, so... 3.30, 4.30. Yeah, that would be okay. Let's just wait till then. All right, it should be coming right along now. I'm surprised that uh, we didn't even have to wait all that long. <laughs> <clears throat> that was pretty nuts. Dog meat, what did you find, buddy? All right, let's make sure everything. So we got a serrated, legendary, uh, or bleeding thing there. Oh, yeah, let's... Oh, we only have seven rounds in that? That's kind of annoying. All right, well, that's fine. I think this works. All right, and now let's see, 445, it is in game, right? Yes, I think they show up at five. So we just, we just give it a couple, we just give it an extra minute or two here. Oof. And I find it's a little easier to do. Um, so what I want to do is I want to actually talk to this guy first. So that's one of the reasons why I'm waiting for Stockton and the uh, package to show up because I want to talk to the package. Although what it could do is just wait another hour and see if it's fine. But in my experience, if you uh, if you talk to them immediately, this is cool. Deacon actually will uh, sit and pray. All your companions will. But um, I don't know if all your companions do. But it, at the very least, most most companions do. Oh yeah, I could have gone across that building and checked it out. But time goes pretty fast here. Alright, so we're good here. We should be just walking right up. If not, I'll wait an extra hour here. Oh, and now the bugs are uh, flying around the bodies. They weren't doing that earlier. <laughs> That's a cool detail. Alright, so yeah, we gotta wait. We gotta wait one more hour. Fine. Wait one hour. There we go. But here comes Stockton. That's all I needed to do. I couldn't remember if it was five or six o'clock. It was apparently six. Hi. Everything looks clear. This is H222. H2. Here's the person I talked to you about. Nice to meet you, H2. Another person actually happy to meet me. This'll take some getting used to. Remember <laughs> what I told you, H2. I'll fire up the signal. Of course, you know, since have designations rather than the names. And there. Time for me to go. Keep H2 safe. Someone will be here shortly. All right, so it says wait for a railroad contact, but hey, we're going to talk. From what I've been told, it's probably safer if I don't say anything. I don't want to put you in any more danger. 
Why can't you talk to me? I don't really know. <laughs> but Mr. Stockton told me it's best for everyone. I don't think he was lying to me. I wanted to thank you. This world is overwhelming. But people like you make me feel better about coming here. I have a lot of questions, especially about the Institute. That's precisely what Mr. Stockton said I shouldn't talk about. At all. If I understand more about the Institute, I may be able to help you and others better. I'm sorry. I don't know much about the Institute. I worked the maintenance tunnels. Every day, for as long as I can remember. The only time I spoke to anyone was to acknowledge scientists' orders, and very rarely to other synths. I've talked more in the past few days than I have my entire life. That's fucked up. So you know where the Institute is, right? Stockton already asked me that. I don't know. I really don't. He says no synths no. How or why that is, I can't say. How did you escape the Institute? The only thing I'll say is I had help. Sorry. It's the one thing I won't talk about. What's life like for a synth in the Institute? Synths are expected to behave like machines. You await instructions, you execute instructions, you perform basic self-maintenance. Anything else is considered defective. And then the SRB comes. So what's cool about this is we're getting a lot of insight over things that we'll eventually learn about much later in the game. You mentioned the SRB. They're the ones that watch us to make sure we're not defective. To make sure we don't run. Since that get noticed, just disappear. I don't know where they go. You worked with scientists? Yes. At least that's what we called them. My only interaction with them was to receive orders on what to clean. I would acknowledge my task and occasionally ask for necessary clarification. But that's really it. What do you know about the rest of the Institute? I heard there was a concourse above the tunnels. It's huge and big and green with, with many synths. But they're watched more carefully by the scientists. Mr. Stockton said very few synths from that section ever escape. Goodbye, H2. Thank you. You have no idea how nice it is just to talk to someone. Don't shoot. Professor, right? And my man Deke, still with the same old face? What? It's been three whole months. You're getting Perfect slow. timing. I keep meaning to go to the face doctor, but who has the time, right? I heard about you. Walked the Freedom Trail, cleared out switchboard. Glad you joined the team. Do you have a Geiger counter? Right you are. Mine is in the shop. All good? Now, let's take a look at our friend. Hey, you, you okay? A little rattled, but I've never been better. The other man, he said I shouldn't talk too much. He told you right, H2. You'll need a real name and a new face, but we'll get to that. Oh, listen, there's more than raiders behind me. I'm afraid we need a little more help. More raiders? Not a problem. You headquarter heavies mean business. We need to get to Titan okay, right, we do. safe house, my home. A lot of sense fresh off the boat crashed there until we smuggled them out of the Commonwealth. Nice that you're willing to do that for us. Yeah, I'm working off sands from a misspent youth. I'll lead the <laughs> way. All right, let's fucking do this. Raiders now we have to deal with, but now we don't have to deal with super mutants that might hear us fighting these asshole raiders. I can't tell you how many times super mutants would get pulled from that building to fuck with us. You used to drive me crazy.
<laughs> Kill shot. I'll be up ahead. <laughs> oh my god. That was fucking amazing. Oh my goodness. Yeah, we can't go in there. Clear. <laughs> Yeah, this is the spot where a lot of times super mutants would show up when these assholes would shoot and these assholes would then hear it and come over. Oh my god, that used to happen so often. Um, yeah, we don't need that spotlight identifying us. Fuck that noise. Let's keep going. So far it's just a couple of token raiders here. Not any kind of extreme resistance, just minor. Come on, game. Man. Not sure what's causing all the hiccups here. Hope that's not We Are the Minutemen. I really do like that mod. Oh well. Hey, high rise. We can catch up at Tycon. We just gotta make it there alive first. Yeah, we made it, high rise. And we're here. <laughs> all in a night's work for you agent types. Huh. Just part of the service. I think I'm gonna like <laughs> you even more than glory. If you ever need grub, bullets, or just a power nap, take the elevator up to Tycon. My house is yours. And Deacon. Try not to give the rookie too much shit. Deacon may be a terrible liar, but it always pays to have him on your side. Later. Perfect. And now we can go back to Dr. Carrington. And that's what we're going to do. Oh, right. Yeah, we're that close anyway. Let's just fucking go there. Oh, now we got Ticonderoga. So we could go up and grab the magazine up there. We're not going to do it just yet. Here's a nice little uh, unmarked location. A little gift shop. There's a um, Mr. Handy in there that we could go and buy stuff from if we were so inclined. I am not, but it's neat. Oh, yeah, we can't go up that way. Ooh. Wait, who the fuck is that? Oh, Minutemen. <laughs> yeah, where were you guys a minute ago? Oh, well. <laughs> Would have made my, our lives easier. Uh, let's cash in this quest, and I think that'll be a good time to raid out to uh, Freakbot. See, uh, see his playthrough of Celico. I think I'm ready. Ready to call this a night. Man, the moon looks awesome. <laughs> well, what the fuck am I about to walk my walk into now? Super mutants. How did you guys shoot? I mean, you guys were obviously shooting at something. Oh, they were probably shooting at Minutemen. Fucking asshole super mutants. They're such dicks. <laughs> what building? Oh, I know what building that is. That's the fallen skyscraper. We'll have to deal with that in a minute. Ten hour stream. Let's go. Ha ha ha. Like, I won't even lie, that actually does sound like it would be fun. It's just, it's not going to be today, but that does sound like it would be fun. I, I think I would like that. But it shan't be today. Once I'm done with my lit review, then a lot of things come into play. But yeah, every, it's almost like to a point where... Oh, so lame. <laughs> oh, Max, that was perfect. <laughs> but I also do need to get dinner. Because uh, I am starting to get hungry. I think this just... This ends up being a rational... A uh, rational stopping point. But I'll be back on tomorrow. Uh, tomorrow evening. Where uh, I'll be playing some East 4. Memories of Celsetta. And hopefully... When... Uh, when I do, I can get through whatever labyrinth issue there is. 
There's got to be some sort of trick to it, and I'm hoping that once I get in there, I'll, I'll figure it out and it'll make it'll make sense. For a spell. Ooh. I was hoping to have some words with you. Well, apparently Deacon doesn't want to go yet either. Let's talk to him first. Now's a good time. <laughs> solo, but I got to admit, working with you makes me think I've been missing out. Having someone watching your back is refreshing, especially since you never know when the Institute is watching. It actually makes sense for him to wait till we're back in the railroad's headquarters to have this, like, safe conversation, right? The feeling's mutual. I gotta say, you make it look easy, but you have some built-in advantages. You know, Some people at HQ are jealous. You took the big nap and everyone you knew is long gone. Now, hear me out on the silver lining. If a human in the railroad slips up, then they expose friends and loved ones to danger. You're safe from that. <laughs> You're saying losing my boy is a good thing? <laughs> I hadn't thought of it that way. When the switchboard went sideways, some people lost family as well as comrades. That's got to be tough. It doesn't matter much to me. I'm a synth. At least that's what they tell me. So I really don't have anything to lose. For Glory and me and the others, it's easier to dedicate ourselves to the cause. This part's fucking great. You expect me to believe that. Why not? I, mean, I was one of the first to get the good old Cranium reboot, and it was a learning experience for everyone. Makes me quirky and fun that way. Since we're traveling together, I want you to take this. It's my recall code. If you ever need to know something about the Institute, read it to me. If you expect me to believe you, I want proof. All right, you got me. No fooling you, huh? Don't take it personally. I lie to everyone. Maybe I'm just another human that has people back home he wants to protect. Then again, maybe not. <laughs> Is that really why you lied to me? I'm supposed to be showing you the ropes in the railroad. So let's just say this is lesson, well, whatever number we're at. That code I gave you is a hard truth. You can't trust everyone. Even if someone sounds sincere, they could be a synth replacement working for the Institute. The bitch of the problem is recognizing the 90% of the time someone's on the up and up and the 10% of the time you're being played. Hey. <clears throat> Tom needs you. He keeps bugging me about it. <laughs> Good old drummer boy. Use the back end. Too much traffic to the church, and we'll burn this hideout. Oh, man. Let's see how we talk to Carrington here. The H-222 situation appears to have been resolved satisfactorily, but there's yet more to be done. Since the fall of the switchboard, we've ascertained the fate of all but two safe houses. I want you to check on Augusta. I'll get it done. Details await at the dead drop. Have a care. Odds are very good you're walking into something nasty. There we go. We got Butcher's Bill. So we'll have to pick up the dead drop there. I hope to God the Institute doesn't find us here. He's not Tinker Tom. Tom. Tinker Tom wanted to talk to us. Oh, here we go. has given me clearance to set up my atmosphere. <laughs> Finally, I can prove that the Institute is terraforming the Commonwealth. Eat that, Carrington. And mind you, Maxie, if you actually say that, Deacon feels like the biggest piece of shit. He's like, oh, T to be fair, he does at least realize how much of an ass that comment sounds. <laughs> Why would the Institute terraform the Commonwealth? It goes back to the big war. Who set off the first day bomb? The Institute did. They started the whole war to kill everyone except their own diabolical science. But what's that have to do with terraforming? Everything, man. You see, humanity didn't kick the bucket like they planned. We're still hanging on. So first step, artificial people come to infiltrate, spy, and salvage the metric tons of gizmos they need. And once they get all the parts they need, whammo! The big atmospheric converter inside Blake Tower starts spewing poison into the stratosphere to kill every last one of us. I can't believe Dell has to prove this fucking shit. <laughs> Give me details. So my sensor, I call Amila, needs to be up high 
real hot. This forced me to put some cameras and, you know, other low-tech surveillance crap on it to watch the Freedom Trail. Chuck that stuff if you need to. Like, you know, who couldn't spoof a conventional camera, right? <laughs> I'll take good care of Mila. She's got a lot of sensitive components. So be gentle, all right? I got the perfect spot picked out. Set Mila up and let the juicy data pour in. There we are. All right, so that sets that up. We're ready for that. I think if we talk to Pam, or maybe I have to do Butcher's Bill too, and then Pam, she'll do this. Has arrived. I have a mission for you. Ah, perfect. Without increasing efficiency of synth traffic flow, odds of entire organization being compromised increase daily. Solution: A new distribution center needs to be established. Ah, yes. I get to set up a new base. That's cool. I forgot about this. Temperature is irrelevant to this conversation. Mission details commencing. Classify the target location. Fortify position to protect current and future railroad assets. New distribution center will be codenamed Mercer Safe House. Good luck. Where is she sending me for that? Ah, Hangman's Alley. That actually works for that. Perfect. All right. I'm so overall, busy. unless you need my medical expertise. No, I don't need to talk to you, Doctor Carrington. All right, so that is a perfect place for us to call this an evening. So let's let's get this all fired up. Let's get this ready. Uh, we will start our ending switcheroo here. And so, yeah, uh, summary for the end of the uh, stream here. Uh, channel update. Uh, we will be streaming back on tomorrow night. Uh, usually start around six. Uh, and yeah, we'll, pl we'll be playing uh, the remake of East 4, which is always a very interesting time. Um, but I'm having fun with Memories of Silsada. It's actually a first playthrough for me. So in that sense, it's been a lot of fun. And I'll be back on tomorrow for that. And life is going to be good. So in the meantime, let's uh, let's go raid Freakbot and get this thing set up here. Uh, thanks for not dropping by, Maxi. Always good to see you. And thank you for everybody who dropped by, even when you were... Even for, uh, like, especially my lurkers, because nobody knows I lurk like the ever living crap out of channels. So, <laughs> yeah, I'm never. Uh, I, I appreciate all of you. You're good. You guys rule. You guys absolutely. Yeah, well, you guys and girls, everybody, you guys all rule. <laughs> uh, let's. I'm sorry. I'm dealing with uh, Twitch's new raid system, and it's just a goddamn nightmare. Um, there we go. Let's let's raid Freakbot. Let's go. Let's make this happen. This is gonna be great. But um, anyway, I'll see you guys all there. I'll probably be hanging out there for the duration of Freakbot stream. I'm going to get some dinner myself. And until next time, I will see you guys all on the next one approximately later. Have a good one. I'll see you all in uh, Freakbot's channel or I will see you tomorrow. Have a good one. Ciao.